is like dating dating brandy i have this one where i'm like oh well this might end like you know where they are in their life our priorities who knows right. who knows where this will go and so instead of that making me sad and I mean, there's like a twinge of it i'm just kind of like ooh, i just want to revel in it then yeah like this might go away this has every in fact this is more tenuous than anything else right i was married like had taken vows and that ended yeah so like i think that's the thing yeah that i'm gonna miss in future relationships is the knowledge that when you're in love you could fall out of it yeah and that's what sucks. I was like, I was in it. I was like, oh, this is, oh, this, this is forever. It. This is it. This, this is, forever. is forever. Oh, hey, you don't even got to worry about it. Yeah. Hey, what, who, can, what are you talking about? Yeah. But this is, this is it. I thought, I thought I had done heartbreak and I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I was, I was just, you were just wrong. Yeah. And even though you put, even though there was all this time and good mm-hmm. shit happened. And it was some, good. Ju- and just, it just, it seemed like something so it, I mean, I mean, listen, long distance is a bitch. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a small change, but it felt like, but in the context of the rock solid nature <laughs> of our deep love yeah. and commitment for each other. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it couldn't shake it. Yeah. And then it was like, think, <laughs> rock slide, <laughs> tornado. <laughs> And welcome to Tyler is Gross, a podcast with me, Tyler Gross, talks about with his, talks to his successful friends about life and, and growth and self-improvement and what are you doing, what am I doing, what are we doing in this crazy world all so that I can get the skills to beat them at whatever it is they're doing. And today we got a return, we got a return, we got Rachel Austin, my good friend Rachel Austin, she's an improviser in town, and uh, we she she came to New York to visit me because Tyler's been sad. We get all into it, so go ahead and listen. It's a very a very vulnerable, emotional episode. I think for you know, I'm gonna say for both of us, I'm gonna say we both went there and we both got there. And I actually, I I remember leaving that podcast feeling more more connected and healed and and better after that. So I felt like I th- I th- I th- we hit a we hit the frequency that I so desperately want to hit whenever I do this podcast and Rachel's the the I'm I'm not surprised at all cuz Rachel's really good at doing that. Um yeah, go ahead like do all the you know if you like it, subscribe it. Um you know, follow me on Instagram. Um uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Love me. All right, that you you get the stuff. You know where to find me. Tylerisgross.com is my website and you can find everything on there. If uh if you need to find me. So, it's up there. Check it out. Enjoy. Rachel Austin. <laughs> that excited i'm tired dude yeah yeah i wore you out pretty much <laughs> pretty much i mean you know what it's you know what it's been for me these last couple of weeks i was in yeah. austin doing this and then my brother was mm-hmm. in town ta- my brother was in town then i went to austin then i came back then you came into town then my brother's mm-hmm. coming in town again on his way back mm-hmm. to home and uh it's a lot of and energy. then you'll be back in austin and i'll be back in austin because i got some stuff going on it's mm-hmm. just got it's moon exhausting. tower coming up moon tower coming up I think my face is going to be on a poster. That's going to be pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Did I tell you that already? No, you did not. I didn't tell, tell me you that. that. You did not. Oh, I'm. I am amazed that that was not the first thing. Because I'm not. I text you. I'm hey, not. I'm here, and you respond. My face is going to be on a poster. I care more about you than I do about me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here's the picture. Look at me. Uh, look how cute I look. You look really cute. Is this is the good jacket? That's the good jacket. It's the good jacket. This is basically me, 2023. Glasses, jacket. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my hair's long, isn't it? Jacket, they, do a little zoom in. They can't see. They're it's gonna, so cute. Not, it's, it's real cute. Single. A hey, pictures by Mary it? Aliska, I think. It's my cousin, but she goes by her middle name, mm-hmm. which I don't know as well. Mary okay. Mary Dorn, if you want to look her up, she, does, she takes great that's pictures. That's kind of a weird thought if you knew all of your cousin's middle names. But that's what she that's what she goes by on the Instagram. I know, but I was just thinking like, I, if someone told me they knew they had ten cousins and they know their first name middle name and last name i would i would be like oh you're lying to me There's i know no my, i know my closest cousin's middle names i think really you ever meet somebody without a middle name and you're like yeah. what's wrong with you well i where was, are you from i think it's you're uh you're uh in hiding and got lazy that's what you think it is <laughs> yeah i'm just like okay what's made your, up what's name. your name mike mike yeah. what mike uh old jackson that's just 
that it's an L. What's your Mike what's your middle L name? Jackson. L. Mike L. L. Jackson. <laughs> what? My brother Samuel. <laughs> Sam. Samuel. His hey, that's Samuel. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. Man. Yeah. Uh, I'm, All right. Can I have the money out of the bank, please? <laughs> I, I killed that guy in Tennessee. Yeah. All that right. Was, I like how we both had different that, crimes. What did you have? <laughs> Mine was that he was at a it was at a bank and was oh, clearly okay. like part of a heist. Yeah. Yours was murder. Yeah. It's fucking hot. Yeah. There's no no. It's yeah. not you. <laughs> oh. The disdain. Well. What the fuck is that? Oh, I think it's my phone. Whoa, that scared the shit that out of me. That scared the sh- Wait, stop. Did you Whoa. say something that made your phone be like... Guys, you saw it here first. Tyler's apartment in Brooklyn is haunted. It's haunted by ghosts who are like, it's not that hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Stop it. <laughs> I just, a, I'm finally comfortable. It's an unusually warm winter. <laughs> which, I guess, which I guess is true. I guess it's true. So what did you want to talk about? What did I want to talk yeah, about? Yeah, you asked to come on. Oh my God, no. How's your weekend been with me in New York? Um, Rachel came to visit me in New York because I've been, I've, I've, I've had a rough go. Yeah. And she's came to visit to make it worse, it turns <laughs> out. I was like, I have to see this misery in person. Mm-hmm. I wanted to have the best weekend while you had the worst. Mm-hmm. It felt great. Yeah. I liked when you cried so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. I liked it. I liked it too. I didn't like it when you were, um, when you were saying when you took my hand and you were slapping with it and you were like why are you hitting yourself yeah you yeah. cry big cry baby yeah i thought that was a bit overkill well i just it's like a little trite like it's like i didn't try at all yeah and when in, in coming up with that it's like i use like the lowest hanging fruit as far as like torture of a person you know yeah but yeah no what'd you think of new york hanging out with me in new york it's been really fun yeah I was worried about you, but also I knew I miss my friend. Yeah, I miss you. I really miss you in Austin. And we've and never like done a thing like we've never like travel together. You mean? I mean, I know this isn't really travel, but you know, but you we, kinda. We've not. We normally we do improv or we drink and we hang out yeah. and that's it. We've never like done activities. Really. Yeah, not really. really, not really. Yeah, everything we do is sitting. That's really all. That's <laughs> all I want to do. Is that why? Yeah, if, I'm your if, sitting friend. If if there was a, if we were in an alternate universe where it wasn't podcast but it was jog casts, I would. This would never be happening. <laughs> that's a, it's a, it's where it's, it's radio but jogging. I'm like nah, no, nah, that's not no, me. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh wait, we've invented exercise that's just sitting. I don't think I'm gonna try that out. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. But no, it's been fun. We went. We went. We got drinks. Yeah, we went to that nice restaurant. We went to which one? The La Crocodile. The La Crocodile. Yeah, that was nice. It was fun. That was cool. I liked being fancy that for a bit. That was cool. It's, you know, honestly, it was one of those fancy restaurants where like this food is good. It was good food. But it also, uh, you know, was it was it was it forty dollars good? I don't know. Well, you're paying for the ambiance. I know, but and it was a very good ambiance. I don't think I, I I don't really sign on to. I'm paying for the ambiance. I'm always like, this food better be forty dollars good. Yeah, but the thing that and that's what we were talking about at, whenever we went. So we had forty dollars good there, and then yeah. today we went to old bag of bagels, just some random Jewish bagel shop, yeah. incredible pastries, and it's like, which one was really better? I mean, I know those are very different foods. Yeah, I don't think you can compare those. It's two like things. steak and ice cream. Which one's better? It's yeah. like that doesn't really make sense. But, but it was like the quality of food doesn't determine isn't the price. That's what I keep finding. And it's disappointing. Where it's like, no, is nothing worth anything? So, See, like I said, I'm pretty down right now. <laughs> yeah, I, <was> gonna say. <laughs> I feel like, if, oh, you want to know what the weekend was like? It was like this. <laughs> You're like, wow, wasn't that a great show? I don't know. They're going to die. We're going to die. Everybody's going to die. <laughs> They're oh. just they're just playing pretend words. Yeah, and I'm feeling. Oh, it's weird. interesting. Those are two actors pretending to be in love. That's what love is like. <laughs> just people <laughs> pretend. pretend. They had there was a there was a quote from the thing. It was um, what love is a lot like corn, where you, it takes a lot of, f it takes a lot of energy to grow, and then over time we turn it into talking about whiskey, corn whiskey, turn it into something mm-hmm. uh, that's toxic and bad for you. That yeah. Slowly. Oh, that's right. Makes you fat or something. Like that. I don't know. So. Yeah. It was good. Oh, I think that was, they were talking about corn syrup. Corn syrup. Yeah. Yeah. We saw a, a musical called Shucked on Broadway. It's about corn. It's well, just loudly about corn. Yeah. Quietly about family. <laughs> At its surface. It is a story about the great American product and export, corn. 
but at its heart, it's about how many puns can we fit in the next That's two really minutes. That's really what the whole thing was. It's just how many <laughs> how many puns can we miss? So many puns. So many puns. I wish I wish they would have set you up for the amount of puns. Because like, if it, I, you know what? I I agree. I feel like just set my expectation. Let me know. Yeah. I mean, they started off with puns fast and hard. Yeah. And pretty they, much, and they walked out the door. They they were doing puns right away. Right away. And I don't love puns. Me neither. I like a pun in real life, but like, if you're like, you want, you want to see the work I've been working on for years? Pun. Yeah, I, I, no. I can't. I can't do that. I'm like, no. that, you got to try. I, you know what I don't it. like about puns is when people say them. There's always the moment after where it's like pun. Yeah. And I hate that. I hate that so much. Because you're forcing the other person to... Respond. Re- re- acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. And I want to be like, you know what? I want to acknowledge it because of its merit. Yeah. Not because you're looking at me with like glee. I want a laugh to be forced out of me. Yeah. I don't want to be like... You can't control me. Hey, <laughs> I, I can't even think of a pun. My brain's not working. But like, you know, <laughs> hey, d- d- sounds really corny. Okay. And wait. then you're like... <sighs> Yeah. Uh, oh yeah yeah i see what you uh, yeah do you want to do you want to give a taste of your takes on the the puns of corn not particularly not i was partic- making very vulgar yeah puns like you're all was, shucked it's out called huh? shucked, like, get shucked <laughs> yeah. man the show really <laughs> shucked me raw dog with <laughs> Really got my cob even, wet. You didn't even love it. You didn't even. You hated it when I was doing it. Now you're like, this is actually good. Now, you know what? Now well, you're I'm, in on it. Now I. Now I'm. Well, I'm under the influence, so that's probably oh, yeah, you're contributing. Little, little puff puff. A little puff puff. Um, no, you know, it, sometimes like a joke is not good, but if you say it enough times, it's like you forget it's not good, and you're just like, oh yeah, that joke that was once said. Well, the the joke is, uh, I'm I'm saying these really graphic. Yeah. You know, actually, I didn't ask for it to be explained to me. <laughs> but what's but what's fun about it is that you don't like it. That was that's yeah. what originally made it fun, and now yeah. you like it, and so I kind of don't want to do it. Yeah, anymore. yeah. Now you're kind of on board. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. see, it was a very fun weekend. It was. Fun. <laughs> it was, really, it was good. We, we had fun. It was good. We had fun. What's What's funny is you know you came down here because you know I've been it's it's been a tough go, and yeah. then but also in your life it's just better than ever. Oh my gosh, my that's, life is great. That's what's so interesting about this dynamic is mm-hmm. is I'm low and you're super high. I don't think we've ever been in this dynamic. I feel like I've always been low and you've always been hitting those highs. Mid mid to high, you know. Mid to high. Mid true. to high. Mid to high. I'm you know what I was thinking about because I'm in this low space. Basically, basically a breakup. I'm go, I'm in this low space. And then I was I was thinking about when's the last time I was this low, mm. and I'm like, is there a period of time? Think about your life. Is there yeah. a period of time? Like, how often should one be low? Expect? I mean, because it's gonna come. It's of not, course, it's not of a course. bad thing to feel down or sad. No. it's just that's just part of the roller coaster of life. But when, it, but like, you know, is it like it's been? I've had a pretty good three years. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> something's coming. You, you know? know what? I kind of feel that way, but but it's because I'm on the other side <laughs> of a bad period where yeah. now I'm like, okay, finally, I'm getting some fucking relief. I'm just going to ride this out for, I think I deserve at least five years of this. Right. To make like, up for the last. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how long was your last? <sighs> okay. I think it was. From my perspective. Uh, forever. Forever. It was long. <laughs> Long I was go. so fun. Thank you for being my friend. Um, from no, you, that, I think the thing about it is even when no, no matter this, yeah, we're the still, fun level is yeah, here. It's still the same. This is it's this is just same. mood, fun. It's the funs. If anything, it's inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> if anything, if anything, it's like the opposite. Like we go low, the fun goes high. <laughs> it's, so, it's, so <laughs> it's like funny. so sad. But it's so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because when I'm hurting, I just want to laugh. Yeah. And then when I'm happy. I don't need to be made to laugh yeah. because I'm full of content. No, I think my bad period, bad period, my my low tough period was from 20, 2015 to 2021. So six years. No. Yeah. You don't think so? You think you think it was before? Well, I didn't, I didn't really, 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 really start talking to you till the pandemic. Yeah. So... I don't like know. We, From yeah. the outside, you look great. Thanks. You look like you were having I'm a real. I'm a blast. great actress. <laughs> having a blast. Same yeah. like. Um, yeah, that sucks. I didn't realize it was so long. Yeah, because it's like before separation and divorce i mean mm-hmm. the times le- you're not going from like your happiest times to be like well, let's get separated you yeah, know yeah, like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and so um so i think it's funny is like 
I think 2016 was my worst year in some ways. 2016 was my worst year. And then probably my second worst year was 2018 no 2020 yeah 2020 let's do that one <laughs> that's, well, that's, no one's gonna no one's no gonna, gonna argue that. no one's gonna blame me for 2020 yeah. Yeah. i like how i was saying it as though someone would be like no rachel uh <laughs> well i guess generally that time was like you know you were married for what 10 years we were together them? 12 together 12 and we were married legally eight illegally seven <laughs> We got illegally married again, again. <laughs> whenever we were married. Um, no, we finally made it official so we could divorce. <laughs> yeah. And so, so, and then I, but so then you get divorced and that's sad. That's hard. Yeah. But it wasn't hard for six years. I imagine there was, you know, it was like the turmoil. Of, I don't know. You know. Do you think it was really a six year divorce hangover? Yes. Really? I think, and I didn't, I don't think I knew that while it was happening because there's, yeah, there's good times and I had fun, but there was always kind of this heaviness, this, this feeling. Well, like a big thing was like when I was alone, being alone was so scary because it just felt like, like the grief is just around the corner. And so what happened is right. I think actually it shouldn't have been that long, but the first like three years coming out or like, the the first two years really of coming out of the marriage ooh, i ran from that grief right. i just ran from it thinking that i was like over it and i didn't need to look at it and it wasn't until like really the pandemic that forced me to like look at it and then it's like okay finally well 2021 was the first time that summer where i was like oh my god i'm myself again i'm me again mm -hmm. which is such a weird feeling and i was like oh my god all that time I thought I was like good yeah. or I thought I was getting better and now I'm here and I'm like this is what good feels like yeah. and even then like you know my life wasn't perfect I had that terrible job mm -hmm. I was single and like kind of just like uh, dating can you imagine being single <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine I can't anymore Could you imagine ah, I she's love love so in love so uh, in love <laughs> and you know what the, you know what the, and I'm, I'm, t I'm saying it with this voice <laughs> but it is cute. It is. I it's know. Not, it's not, it's you know what sucks? It's not even like, really annoying. I don't. You know what? You know what isn't, I was gonna say this earlier, what? but I didn't. What's funny about you being in love is you're like, you, your stories are now mundane things that you just do with them. Yeah. You're just like, so we went and we got coffee, right? And we <laughs> made it and we drank it, <laughs> and it was the best time of my oh. life. And I'm like, where is the punchline <laughs> in this story? I'm like, it oh, is it's, true. oh, that's it. That's I'm so disgusting, and it, and it cracks me up because we'll be out doing stuff, and and I feel like there has been a recent tipping point where I think we've like truly solidified, like, oh, we're both in this, we're both wild about each other. Let's, we don't need to pretend, you know. There's kind of like that time in dating where you have to be like, uh, where are you at? I don't know, you know. And so since we've like passed that threshold, we make out everywhere. We are disgusting. Mm -hmm. We like, we'll be at a party. Making, you're making out. We're making out. And we're like, you know, and, and it's like, I know I, I'm like, we are so annoying and I don't care. I don't care and I want to keep doing this it's, thing. It's cute if you keep it under once every 30 minutes for five seconds. I'll say it's cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I will say this. We're not like, going to town on each but, other no but i'm saying if you're yeah. if you're like if you're just like in the corner by yourself for 10 minutes they're just like they're just like rubbing noses and whispering and <laughs> now they're baby birding <laughs> i remember during during christmas um me and my me and my ex-girl we were I, <laughs> do, do, should i make us uh, should we have like a noise whenever you mention her where i'm like oh, oh. <laughs> no because it was it was a big part of my life recently <laughs> we, we were there for christmas and we were i was whispering something to her and it was something yeah. dirty you know yeah. something and and like my parents were over there my family's over there but it was me and her i was like i was like whisper something dirty dirty sexy dirty and mm -hmm. she was like <laughs> like but it was like it was it wasn't dirty like actual sexy it was like something like that's so filthy and not appealing at all that's oh, funny oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah yeah and i was like like i want to take off these granny panties and wad them up and put them in your mouth yeah so then yeah. she's like oh my god and yeah. then my parents were like you know whispering's not polite and, <laughs> and i'm and then i'm like i'm like number one <laughs> number one i'm like like we're a couple like you should let us be like yeah, just let us y'all were over there and we were over here and number two my second question was if if they 
they should they should just be like, oh, look at him, look at them. Yeah. But if they, the only reason that they would say that was like, did I whisper that, or did they just hear me say, oh, I'm gonna put my <laughs> granny panties in your mouth. They're my granny panties. And then your dad's like. Whispering's rude. <laughs> whispering's rude. You should be like, Whis- whispering's preferred. Please whisper. Please whisper. <laughs> Please whisper more. I don't know if they heard me. Um, or they're or, or they're just like That's we're so uncomfortable. We're uncomfortable with our with our baby boy being. Uh, well, like how gross were you looking? <laughs> like being like. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm saying that's okay. Yeah. Yeah great <laughs> <laughs> listen you came on here i didn't want to do this. oh my god <laughs> so if there's any pauses that's on you oh my god but um but yeah so you're going through this and then meanwhile you're like oh my god everything's so great everything's yeah. so great and i'm like for now yeah you're like, you think it's good <laughs> just wait just wait until you see what really happens yeah and what's funny is a year ago i was where you were yeah yeah that's yeah. nuts how quick it yeah literally literally we were literally switched literally switched just because you were ago. newly in love mm-hmm. and i was just being fucked over yeah. by love yeah and and actually at the time was like i'm done yeah i you know i've had enough sex for anyone could be satisfied with i've been married i've been engaged i've been divorced yeah i've had threesomes just sure. kidding um <laughs> mom because <laughs> i know you're watching yeah um yeah i'm done I don't need to do it anymore. I'm done. And that's where I was. Yeah. I knew the whole time I was like, okay. I was like, you horny bitch. You're going to be, <laughs> you about to hop back on this horse like it's nothing. What was that? That was a horse going by. Oh. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> exactly. I got to go. But yeah, now I'm here. So how, how, let's go from one to 10. How sad am I? <laughs> In the time that I've known you sad? Sure. 10 being the most sad I've ever seen you and one being the happiest I've ever seen you. Okay. And then five being a, a neutral. No, guy. actually that's a terrible way it's to do really it. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a really yeah, bad yeah. scale. It's a really bad scale. The least sad. That's just happy. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's the kind of joke that they would make in the musical shut. And so I'm, I'm kind of annoyed by that joke. Not that it wasn't good, just that it reminded me of a, reminded me of that terrible of musical, musical that I, I made didn't you, like. made you go see. Yeah. Um, oh my God. <laughs> You just look so unhappy. Um, you're pretty sad, man. Yeah. yeah, you're up there. There's, 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 there's one other time that comes to mind where you felt really, really sad, but it was sad in a different way. What time are you talking about? It was after your JFL audition. Oh yeah. And that day was a day where I don't. No, we were I must sitting. Have, I you know I do I do remember leaving and being like. I remember calling her and yeah. being like, I'm gonna go over to Rachel's really just, yeah. really, just really quick. Yeah. And he came over to my, I came over to my house and dick, uh, sat on the deck. And I think the thing that struck I didn't, I didn't like my set. Yeah, there's a lot to it. But also I think there was the bigger thing too of just like, you were also in a spot where you had just met this amazing person and you had the plan that you're gonna move to New York last summer. Mm-hmm. And I think this was about the time too that you guys we're starting to have that conversation mm-hmm. of like, when do you go? Do y'all break up? Yeah. Like, do you, you know, y'all are kind of starting that right. and it was at, at the same time. And so when you came over, yeah, you were just, you just felt really lost and yeah. you felt really like, what am I doing? And yeah, you're really sad. This is your life. <laughs> 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 that's a that's like a that's like a circumstantial momentary. I, I was thinking about this last night because that was like you know how you got a mole and they're like oh we should we'll just take it off yeah and then then there's skin this is, cancer. This is like you have melanoma. <laughs> you gotta take out. You gotta cut out how much of my arm. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take the whole thing. We got the single. It's just gonna be a, you're just gonna have a skeleton arm. <laughs> yeah yeah that's really what it is. It, it's really it's it's I, it's it's sad. I mean, I, I, sad is a weird one. Sad's a weird emotion for me because sad, you know, some so like angry is a really strong visceral emotion. Right. You, you're angry. You're angry. Angry. Yeah. And when you're happy, happy and sad are for me are kind of more mellow emotions, maybe. Because yeah. when you're happy, I'm just like, man, I'm happy. I just want to pause for a second. Sure. 
and just say, I would really love it if someone starts this podcast and they're like, oh no, I, re- I fast forwarded it into th- this part. And happy is just where you're like, <laughs> And like, sad is like, mm. <laughs> wow, they're really getting deep. We're really getting deep on this episode. It just makes me feel like good. <laughs> and then fast forward another 30 minutes. <gasps> <laughs> but sad doesn't really get me. <laughs> <laughs> but sad, but this, sad, this, sad, I mean, I think sad is probably appropriate, but I was, I was, I was kind of meditating about it last night. Cause all we've been doing, also all we've been doing while we're watching shows and in between is just being like, and another thing that happened between us, you know, between yeah. me and my ex. Yeah. And it's, um, the other thing is just like, it, it, it was, you know, one of my gurus, um, Aubrey Drake Graham once said in a song that he made was <laughs> he said, the first love is the sweetest, but that first cut is the deepest. Whew. I tried to keep us together. You were busy keeping secrets, secrets. You was telling everybody but me. Don't be fooled by the money. It's, I'm still just young and unlucky. I'm surprised you could. I'm just keep going. <laughs> I, know, I know. You know but, what? Also, just by the way. I can't wait for one day where we're hanging out with Drake and we get to talk about how his music just I, followed us around. Gonna, I'm never going to be hanging out with Drake. He Fuck you. Who says yeah. that you're the one who makes the connection happen? I'm going to hang what out with you, Drake. What are you, you're going to hang out? How are you going to talk to Drake? I'm not going to give you away my secrets. I was only trying to get ahead. <laughs> but the first, that, that cut was deep. Yeah. And I was thinking about just yeah. like, and I haven't been thinking about that recently because I think the deepest cut was like months ago. Yes. Yes, and I agree. it's sort of been like, I, we, you know, there's there's been a lot of ups and downs of us like breaking up and come back together and trying to maybe, maybe, or maybe not, or this and, will they, won't they? Well, it's a, it's a death of by a thousand cuts. Like, yeah. yeah, they've been, you had, I agree. The deep one happened a few months ago. And then it's like y'all slapped a bandaid on it, and then sometimes a bandaid flaps open, and then there's more little tiny cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this feels right to me. Yeah, and I think the thing was was just like oh, like that was that was the re- the reason. And one of the things you notice or I said about me is mm-hmm. like whenever we're when I'm having issues in any relationship, I'm just I'm just yeah, crazy thinking just, about it because I'm trying to solve it. Yeah. But what I but then I realized you know I'm not trying to solve it. No. I'm trying to fix how I feel. Yeah, and I, how I feel is deep is like that. That was a like, ooh, that's a deep one. Yeah, it's a deep one. And <laughs> sorry, <laughs> he's so he's so emotional, folks. He's burping. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a deep one, and um, and even even wanting like you know the desires to you know you break up. There's you know you number one you, you're with somebody, so yeah. you, you have that physical pull physical pull and habitual pull to be like yeah. this is the person i want to talk to about this yeah. kind of stuff yeah and um and also like i want to like i want i'm like i want these feelings to be like validated yeah yeah and then, that you're not crazy yeah or, that you're not overblowing and it. even talking to you and other people yeah like that. but really i don't need anybody else to do that. i really it was yeah. just like oh you know what tyler like you yeah you can just this was hard this yeah. is a t- tough time for you. Yeah. And I'm me telling that to myself. Being like, hey, it's a tough time for you. you I'm, not, I'm really actually really glad to hear this because you've not really said this this, this weekend. happened last night. I mean, that's great. Yeah. I'm, and I'm really, yay. Yay. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really, because, I'm really deep and spiritually oh my in tune. God. And but you just need your big sister, Rachel, to come mm. up to New York, show you a good time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you don't like it, go shuck yourself. <laughs> Bye-bye. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, why don't you go pop your corn? How pop, about that? Pop your corn. <laughs> oh, you can butter this knob. <laughs> <laughs> no spit, no lube, just a raw shucking, <laughs> packing in my corn. What? That was not the tone of the show. That was not the tone of the show. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. That's what the feeling was like. Oh, I just yeah, like you're yeah. Hurt and, this, and you're feeling all these feelings, and even the j- even the jadedness that I've been putting on over the weekend of being like, I don't ass. think like, you. It's really just like. You're pushing that out, but really, no. You're just you're just you're just you can just own it. You don't yeah. gotta. You don't yeah, gotta. It's. I mean, that's what I think actually is kind of funny. Is like you do it and you're like, see, it's a bit, and it's like, well, it's not a bit, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're not fooling me yeah, yeah, at yeah. all. But if you need me to like pretend yeah. it is, that's fine. Yeah. 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 I mean, no. I mean, it's 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 real feel. It's real feelings. That, it's real thoughts that I don't believe. Yeah. And I'm just expressing them because it's fun to. Um, yeah. 
here's something I want to talk about in the context of this, mm-hmm. so I can bring it to you and not just be like, and another thing that happened, <laughs> and another thing that happened. Um, but yeah, no, the, to finish that thought, it was like, yeah, like, no, this was a hard time. And you know what, you know, the one thing I'm proud of whenever I, whenever I was thinking back through it last night is mm-hmm. like the thing that made it so hard is like, I was, I was loving pretty hard. Yeah. I was loving you hard. You in, you in. And this is something I think is very admirable and something I really like about you is, yeah, you, you're in it. Yeah. You were in it and you were given your all. I was loving. In it. Mm-hmm. And the thing was, I was like, you know, I, I think there's a part of me that feels, you know, whenever you, whenever you love and lose, you, there's a, there's a feel, everyone has that feeling of like, what an idiot yeah you see it on tv well yeah i'm so stupid yeah and i just had this moment like you know what you weren't stupid loving somebody's not stupid no in fact it's it's really like i'm proud of myself for like really doing that in the way that i did as hard as i could obviously i wasn't perfect in the whole thing yeah yeah but you were vulnerable that's the thing is like you really put it out there you can't there you cannot in any way look back and be like well she didn't really know my heart because I didn't offer it or whatever. Right. You didn't do that. And I think it's very hard. It's so hard. If anything, hard. she was like, that's a lot of heart. <laughs> She's like, actually, I wouldn't. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that's a lot of heart, though. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. I think that the, the thing that is fear, because I feel like I, it, it was deep. It was a deep one. Uh-huh. She got in there deep, and now yeah. she's not in there. It was big old. And the feeling of the loss of innocence for mm. that first real heartbreak. Yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, you know how I have this gaping wound? One, well, let's open one of yours up, Rachel. <laughs> Man, you fucking, you fine. You have you have this new love shielding you from all those bad things. It's true. I love it. Like, even old love, you're like, you know, every single old love just led me to this one. Boop, 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 boop. I love it. No, no, no. Um, okay, but honestly, uh, uh. Ooh, I think, I think, I think, honestly, where they say the time thing, time heals. I think it's true, but I think really what they're saying is you forget. <laughs> you can't really remember. You're like, I think that hurt a lot. I remember that hurting yeah. a lot, but you don't really remember anymore. It's kind of too far back, right? It's kind of like you remember school, but you don't remember what school feels like. This is, well, right. I'm older than you. Maybe you do because you're young. But yeah, um, I remember the moments. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's far less visceral. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know, for me, I, I am a romantic person. I always yeah. have been. I would say actually probably like one of my biggest growth things is like accepting that about myself. Like for yeah. some reason when I was younger, I was really ashamed to be a romantic. Like it seems it's, stupid it's and fucking, silly. It is. Yeah, it seems lame. It's, fucking, it's lame. And it feels like demanding. Like I feel like I'm demanding something from someone of like flowers and these kinds of like intimate demonstrations mm-hmm. of some sort. Um, but now... I in the last few years and part of it I think is like getting divorced and like kind of coming back to myself in some ways. Yeah, I fucking love romance. Yeah. And um Yeah, it took me kind of going back and doing things just on my own and embracing that side of myself, but I don't know, I feel like I lost my train of thought a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it had nothing to do with loss of innocence. Let me talk, uh, about, <laughs> let me talk about mine and see Oh, if, wait, see if wait, we can wait, wait. wait. Actually, let me say this about loss of innocence. I will say this. So, the one thing that is and I think this is just a part of getting older and having more relationships is you do lose it. You do lose kind of like the shine off the apple. But one of the things that's nice about it is you, there'll be moments in a new relationship where you're like, Oh, I've been here before. And you'll have that moment of like, ah, I'm scared. I'm going to lose it again. Ah, that's painful. But what's nice is you're like, Oh, you know what? I'm going to, that last time this happened, I behaved this way and that didn't feel great. Right. I can actually show up different. Right. And then there's like a pride and an excitement and a nervousness. It's like a different feeling that replaces right. that original naivete. Interesting. And then what's also fun too is like when you revisit some of these things. So for example, like one of the wildest things about my perfect romantic, most connected, beautiful fulfilling relationship <laughs> can we cut the camera <laughs> but no one of the things that like cracks me up is you know i can't remember the last time i just like made out with someone like i think about the last like my my ex-husband when we were courting i kind of remember us like making out in the beginning shut the fuck up i don't know, I don't know. What, what the fuck you want me to That's say how long ago it was <laughs> 
Well, when the dinosaurs had moved from oh, this. Oh, All right. Let's get in here. <laughs> All right, go <laughs> shut yourself. Okay, all right. I love it. I love it. Um, like I can remember us like making out, but then there was a period, like uh, you know, some point in our marriage and our relation, you just stop making out. Like if you're making out, it's because you're gonna have sex, and that's the only right. purpose. Yeah, and as it should be. <laughs> and then if you're really in love, you don't even make out. You just put it right. In. <laughs> <laughs> That's you jumping in pussy. Oh, it's, it's I'm jumping in it. Yeah, yeah, like a big one. Yeah, you do. <laughs> like a big old yeah. one. I love fat pussy lips. Yeah, <laughs> that Kendrick Lamar song, "Swimming Pools." I thought it was about pussy. At first. <laughs> Get a pool full of pussy and you dive right in. But I was wrong. Uh, yeah. Um. I forgot where we were talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, don't do bits if you can't keep on. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> here's the okay. Here's the thing because I was talking about the first love is the sweetest. The first cut is oh, the deepest. Let me finish this. It was okay. It was, it was making out. It was making out. Making out. Making yeah, out. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It's fun, and you don't do it once you get into something. But you're saying because so dating this new person, I uh, uh, we we made out a lot in the beginning, and I was like, my god, I haven't done this in so long. And then even as we've like slept together and things, sometimes we just make out. And it's so nostalgic and I feel like a teenager, which is weird. It's like a weird feeling. Yeah, yeah, the nostalgia. No, I get it. I. <laughs> you're like I just don't care. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. It's really like, cause I, I was thinking about, cause, cause sometimes me and my, me, me and my ex, we would, we would make out and it, I, I, and I, I've had that thought because I've heard people say before, like, you know, the first time you kiss someone is probably the longest time you'll ever kiss them, which is a sad thought. That is what fucked up person but, said that. But you're saying the exact same thing. Whenever you first start seeing someone, you're making out and then you start yeah. having sex and then the makeouts get shorter because yeah. you're trying to get to the sex. Yeah. And like we would make out and I, and I have that in my head where it's like, I want to enjoy making out more. Yeah. But then the dick gets involved and then it kind of takes over and it's like, all right, well, we need to. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, calm down. Like we're trying to, I'm trying to enjoy the mo- fuck the moment, nigga. Go ahead and let me in. Let me out. <laughs> I mean, that happens. It's just yeah. like the difference is, is like my pants are wet. I don't yeah. know, you know. I don't, I, we got to replace I, this cushion. A, it might be a different. It might be something different for, with girls, but I don't know. Women? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> no. No. Um, but what I think flavor, that's, what flavor is that? This is a limoncello. Ooh. Lacroix limoncello with a squirt of um, liquid liquid caffeine put in there for a little bit of boost. Is that really what that is? That's what it is. Check it out. It's that, I don't. Pe- people don't like it. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to people. Yeah. Yeah, it feels upsetting to me. The bottle's really scary looking. It's too. very. It feels like you're poisoning yourself. Yeah. It says okay. It's interesting. It says caffeine poison, eighty milligrams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poison. I don't think it actually actually poisoned me. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't taken a shit in like three weeks. <laughs> but besides that, like I feel pretty good. <laughs> Uh, loss of innocence deep down yeah deep cut yes um and i think th- the thing that I, this is the thing that I, re- I honestly worry about because it was like a it came from like a real it was like the first real big one big love thing i was feeling with this person mm-hmm. and it felt very childlike came from yeah. like that yeah. deep of a place yeah. and i i'm trying not to cement that part over to protect it oh, in yeah. the future mm-hmm. but there is a sense of like i don't i can't just jump back in like that again with somebody knowing yeah how mm-hmm. how deep that wound was and i and I, I worry i'm like oh maybe maybe that's the the deepest i've loved and then everything else will just be <laughs> a little less a little more shallow than that i don't think that's I, think what, I don't I, think that's actually true i don't think that's actually true but, but it, i do think what's weird is you've now experienced that and some things won't be as satisfying what do you mean so okay i was in a relationship for 12 years and then i started dating and in the beginning, dating was very fun and it was like just so different from being in this long term relationship and it was exciting. Then I started like really seeing someone and it's like I just want it. I'm like, oh, fuck, I wish you could just like get on my level, like when it comes to relationships and like 
Like I want to feel that deep love right. again. And I'm like, we could be feeling the good stuff, but you're hearing your bullshit. Well, and but that makes it sound like these are just the wrong people. Or do you think it's really just like you were rushing to something that just needed time? Probably a little bit of both. I think there's, I think you want to skip. I, yeah. It's Cause like, it's, cause it you, seems like with you and current person, it's like there was fun and butterflies mm-hmm. and it just, naturally got but to. i think but i think it's because i went to therapy and said oh you can't skip steps like i have to right. slow down like right, 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 whereas right. before i think i was trying to rush and then i do think it was like settling just being like oh i want sorry person if you doubt they're i doubt they're listening it's fine <laughs> but like oh the settling person yeah which one <laughs> go ahead and comment below who you think Rachel's shitty ex was. <laughs> was it Bing A? <laughs> I have the names. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. Um Yeah, I I think, yeah, I think I think time does it. I think time makes it easier. Um but yeah, I think after a big love, you're gonna wanna skip the steps. Mm-hmm. I think there's that tendency. And then yeah, I think I mean I be- think gotcha. I think I wanted to skip the steps in this one. Yeah. Because they're so. hard. Huh? But not even not even like any hard steps or bad steps. It was just like, oh, I feel very strongly. Like, let's feel strongly together. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you're moving at different paces. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or or, or uh, like you're saying, they have their own hangups that yeah. like you're like, hey, hey, I don't have those. Can we? Can we? Let's, can we let's move through. Let's it. go. Actually, you know what? That was a hangup of mine. I can tell you exactly how to navigate it. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, actually, I've been there. Let me help you out. Just by the way, let's yep. knock it out. We can All be, right. We can be good by next week. Yeah. Exactly. Just exactly. If you just listen to me. By the way, you just fucking stop it. Yeah, you know what? Actually, by the way, too, that shoe rack is not going to stay by the front door. I fucking hate that thing. It's and we're going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Isn't it great being with me? <laughs> Isn't it great? Where do you think we'll go on our honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, this bitch, this bitch is crazy. And About she, you. And she going to say, um, she going to say something wrong with me in the podcast. <laughs> They're listening. She's going to tell you something wrong with me in the podcast. Can you believe this shit? Man, shit. You lucky. Wow. I, I, I was transported. It was as though I was in their shit. living room listening. Can't believe she forgot about Daryl. <laughs> Can't believe she forgot about Daryl. You know, I miss Daryl because he would say such sweet things to me like. <laughs> Nigga, where my food is? <laughs> God, Daryl really knew how to make me wet. <laughs> Uh, well, okay i feel like you got your list out. um i don't know i don't know i don't know what we're here to talk about i got, yeah. I got other stuff here got well we've okay so we've t- we've talked a lot about okay you're in a bad your bad spot yeah um and the timing of it's hard too because you moved to new york yeah just moved to new york you have a big life change big life change and and was big life loss in this in this way but then also just losing the the texas support system and having yeah to yeah there's a lot of grief yeah and i think the thing that's the thing so earlier when you were talking about being sad and like sadness and things of that nature what's interesting is like that day after jfl you were sad Mm -hmm. you were sad and you felt lost this is grief okay this is like because you were sad that day with the deep cut you were really sad yeah heard it in your voice and like it's that day you came over to my house right is that the one you're thinking of we talked I, on the phone. I can't. I can't even tell. I can't. Even, that was. <laughs> I can't even tell yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I have no idea. There, was, there was a day you came the, over. The day I don't know. I just know the, the like. Yeah, the feeling. The, the 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 thing. The dynamic that was like like this isn't supposed to happen. Yeah. Like yeah. That that little that little that, that, that innocence. I mean, we were talking about it the other day. There's yeah. a real real innocence in me of like, oh, why would. Yeah. Why would they? Why would they be me? Yeah. There's a real like I don't know. They, they, they love me, but they said they love me. Why would they say those things? Well, not everybody understands what love is. And it's like, well, that no, but but they said, baby, tie tie. I'm sorry, but this but, is what the world is but like. They said, I know, baby. Do you want to go fuck her up? <laughs> <laughs> go on. <laughs> I got these baseball bats. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, butters. butters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, but then there's like <laughs> an adult comes out. What are you two doing? <laughs> but, <laughs> we're hammering nails into a baseball bat. <laughs> uh, this is just the arts and crafts project. <laughs> we're learning about love. <laughs> <laughs> um. So sad. You were sad that day, mm-hmm. and you're sad about JFL. 
this feels like grief. Yeah, I it feel does. like the things you're going it's, through. It's, it's, it's low frequency and it's just there kind and of all the spikes. time. And it spikes. And it, yeah, has, it has, its has spikes by triggers and yeah. things. And I, and it, yeah, I think you're grief, and I think you're grieving the loss. But you're, and this is a thing, you know, they always say it in like divorce and things, but you're grieving the future you were planning. Yeah, sure. Like you, Definitely. you know, you, you had the dream of New York prior to her and then then new york became about with you two guys together right. and then yeah, yeah. i think uh, yeah i think there was yeah there's a lot of that mm -hmm. a lot of that and you know just just the the sort of quickness that it all sort of unraveled and yeah. just and just being in and you know the the trying and not not working of yeah of trying is just like fuck just like that and i think too like how it unraveled i think has shaken you yeah it's shaken Certainly. you because you you thought you thought you had an understanding of where they were at where they were coming from and what they were about and then quickly learned that a lot of those things were not true right. and and it wasn't from a lack of you like asking and looking sure, for yeah. it so it felt like deception and yeah. so you know yeah. Which and you've and you and you and the thing is is like we've talked about it a lot you have a great deal of empathy for them yeah. what she's going through and this was not an easy breakup yeah, for I mean, either party yeah at all we're both i mean we're like we're gonna see each other yeah again when i'm in yeah. like, like we're, we're, there's exactly. no there's not like exactly. bad blood in that no way. not but you know Fuck that bitch. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not not what I would say on camera. I would never. I mean, I love her so much. I can't wait for us to spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> I still think it's going to work out. <laughs> if we just push through these mm -hmm. notes. No, I think I think that's definitely true. I think it's 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 yeah, it's a lot it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. And then but you know what what has been interesting? Like, you know, there's a thing of like you know, have you like have you ever honestly regretted a relationship? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. But you know okay, what I mean? okay, wait, take it back, take it back, take it back. There's always what is, something that you've like I gathered or learned, or something that you're like blah blah. And the things that I've like learned and thought and realized and like mm -hmm. how getting somebody else to shake up some shit and then you got to put together the pieces is a obviously a painful process. But then that's also oftentimes in life whether we like it or not a mechanism for learning about x y and z yeah so i guess that's what i want to talk about yeah <laughs> instead of instead, instead of, of this question i don't that i didn't answer correctly but, you know but this is this is the same thing that we that we, we, we talked about this weekend where i'm like have you ever regretted something yes and it's like now i have to explain more <laughs> so that you can agree that well i guess no <laughs> I have to broaden the question yeah. so that you can give me the answer that I want. <laughs> I know. But you know what I mean? Like, like, yes, like I get what you're saying. You learn stuff. You always learn stuff. something. You it's what, all great. One of the things I learned about me, I'm so, I, I'm so, I'm such a good boyfriend. I'm you're such so, a good, you're such a great listener. Oh, I'm so, I, it's hard to get you just cause when she, talk, you know, cause honestly. When shit, cause when shit was hard, oh my God, I was like, oh, this thing I care about, boom, I don't need it. What? What do you got? Oh, oh, what do you need? Do you need, the, do you, oh, do you need the shirt off my back? How about the skin too, bitch? Like, I was, I was, I was ready to oh, go. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So you were, I mean, there were, there were lines. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. But you know, like, what do we, what do we got to do? I was uh, so ready to, and I was like, this too? Okay, can you come in the back? I don't want, and you've lost your privileges. <laughs> you've lost your caffeine privileges. I, I was ready to, uh, I was so, ooh, if, rom, if, if it was, if I was in a rom-com, oh my God, the audience would, would be, be insufferable. cheering. You're such a martyr. You're the, so uh, the, self, you're so self-abandoning martyr. No, I'm not self-abandoning. I'm going to give you the shirt off my back. Yeah, I'm gonna abandon my favorite things in my life. I will do anything I say, how many, on my knees, I was like, how many, please, please. Like, please. On my knees. I was, like, I was like, do you need how many fingers do you need? I'll try, <laughs> I have ten. I'll get more. I was ready, man. You I was. Were ready. I was so in it. I, I was so committed. And I like that about me. I do like that about you. It got I'm pretty. I like. I'm. I'm like a loyal person. You for are real. a very loyal. Like person. fuck relationships. Like friend. Like once you're, if you're in, like yeah. you're, that's it. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. 
like even you know my friend sandy's but like you know should we like we spent years apart not talking not for any just yeah drifted. Just, and then just like life. we came back and it's just like and it's like hey sandy like you're in yeah you were in then and we haven't really chatted talked kept, kept up but mm-hmm. you're in it's you're that's it yeah you know so um i'm mad loyal T- tell me about how are you loyal to me yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i am like whatever you anything i need you call you call me you text me you know what if i'm you free are a good if friend. i'm free oh you're there if i'm not busy <laughs> oh if i'm busy though if i'm busy you know what i will i will rush <laughs> i will rush to get done um i'm not you know yeah you know what's within, your name again reason. <laughs> it depends what's wrong you know <laughs> how urgent is it how urgent and I, that's up to me not, not really up to you <laughs> you don't get to decide you that. don't really decide how urgent i really do yeah also hey tyler i still need your phone number do you mind uh, i i really my close friends i do email <laughs> 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 my close friends i do email but i'm i'm, I'm mad loyal um, you are mad loyal I, I always think about when when you i was in a in a situationship that's what the, that's what the young people say now and uh no, situationship and which a crappy dude was kind of jerking me around and i'd been in it for too long i was wild about him and yeah you were the friend who one listened to me talk about it forever and then yeah was like you got it <laughs> Like yeah, could, I was like, "Fuck this guy." Yeah, get out of this. And this then, guy good. and then I think you were the one who suggested I write it down. I'll take credit for that. Yeah, I feel like you work. Yeah. I feel like I would do that. Yeah. Anyway, Tyler like, helped me write out what I needed to say to this person mm-hmm. so I could get out of this thing. I pretended to be him. It was a good little. Scene it was a nice did. little, nice little it's improv. Nice little we we did. did a little improv. What you're in this relationship now? It's yeah. going great. And you had the, this this situation ships and others. How do you, what do you think? how have you approached this one differently? Because you talked about that, approaching yeah. things differently, making different decisions, being like, instead of, oh, I've been here before, instead of going A, I'm going to go B. Yeah. What have you learned from past things that is making this one more successful? I think, first off, I was dating multiple people at the time in which we started dating. So I was seeing... This current person. Yes. I was seeing two other people when we went on our first date. So I think there was some of that where I didn't, I wasn't putting any pressure on it. I was just kind of like, and I also was in a mode of like, I just kind of need to have some fun and like, honestly get my ego back a little bit. Like I felt so defeated and like fucked up from that thing that I was like, I just really need to be around people who want to be with me and aren't, yeah, sending mixed signals. So I think it was that. And then I think when we actually started getting into dating, I think, you know, I'm a direct person, but you know, when you're in a relationship, I never, you know, I don't want to necessarily make waves. And I feel like the situationship kind of hardened me in a little bit right? to be like, nah, I'm going to make waves now. Like it's better for me just to make waves. And it's always better to make it's waves. always it's I mean, always I better it. we've talked about this with women and yeah. socialized and you know be seen and not heard don't be a burden and shit yeah and then i date these girls and i'm like well you fucking make some goddamn waves <laughs> yeah it's like, i'm like i'm it's like going it's like i'm in a wave pool and yeah and she i don't want i'm like i came here for the waves let's do yeah. some shit let's yeah. be a person yeah absolutely no you hit it it's it's absolutely that and and i think i have like grown a lot but like yeah I showed up in this and was just like I'm gonna say the things and then I think I'm with a person who they're they're here for it they want it they you know and it's but I think how I've shown up differently is like I take I took my time and yeah didn't try so even when we were like first dating and I stopped seeing the other two people because pretty quickly I was like okay I'm enjoying this I don't need this to like turn into a thing immediately, but like, you know, when you really like someone, you go hang out with someone else, and I'm just like, huh, I really just want to be with the other person. Like, like this, right. is, you know, like I felt that way, and Compa- it felt shitty. So comparison, yeah, is, is important to dating. <laughs> Step one: find a girl you like. Step two: find another one. <laughs> Step three: handle them both. Compare. Yeah, compare. Um, I'm glad you get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and then this person. Also, one of the things we talked about is like you've dated men mostly, mm-hmm. and this person uh, pr- pronouns she they, but mostly they, mostly non- they, non-binary individual, mm-hmm. and it's like 
we yeah we were talking about how like showing up to that is different it's very Cause, different because well because also you know a lot of the men that you've dated have been you know i don't want to be disrespectful but a bunch of pussy ass bitches <laughs> yeah they've been a, a bunch, bunch of pussy little ass dick bitches. pussy yeah. ass bitches <laughs> yeah and then this person is just a, not that a confident confident yeah you know i'm sure they have their shit well, but I mostly mean, like, they're like yeah i'm here and let's yeah, fucking hang my uh, my buddy chewy our buddy chewy our buddy chewy for uh, the podcast yep uh i mean the first time i was telling him about it he, he was like oh is it how is it to be like the least masked person in the relationship i was like that's very true that's funny <laughs> Got him. Got him. Little, little P A B's, <laughs> pabs. Yeah. Yeah. So this is different. And so it is different in that way, but it is interesting because they have the qualities I'm typically always attracted right. to. Um, I told you you should just date a girl, or at least not yeah, you, you did. I mean, you did. I'm like, just do it, man. Yeah, you made wrote, you made it sound like it was very easy, and there's no like hangups or you know like things that I'm having. I didn't notice because I was I was putting hidden cameras in your room. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you should date a girl. Try. <laughs> I'm kind of bored of what you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> also she got a toy I don't know. <laughs> treat yourself <laughs> purple doesn't show up great on the camera have you ever thought about neon yellow <laughs> <laughs> glow in the dark also, I, got you, I got your birthday also, present a nightlight water that damn plant <laughs> <laughs> unrelated yeah Cause yeah, it was, it was, it was, I mean, you were talking about just like all the little, um, like, like things that I really don't relate to. Like talking about all these people that you've been dating who like yeah. have these little, um, don't emasculate me, bro. Yeah. Well, and yeah, it sucks. And it's so, it's, it's so, so weird. So yeah, I we, think, we, well, just we, to give more, I, I feel like we haven't really set this up to actually explain. So okay. in my, just to give a foundation, uh, yeah, in my real, previous relationships i tended to be the more dominant more masculine person sure. and that's even true of like when i've dated women or uh or yeah non-men because i've dated some un other non-binary people as well and then um uh and so this is the first time i've been in a relationship where that is not the case and, and i'm still like but, but what's weird is like I have not changed. I'm not showing right. up different. It's just our dynamic allows for that, and right. it's not, and it feels natural, and it doesn't feel weird. Right. Yeah, and I think the other was also true too. It wasn't like I was trying to be something with them, but I did feel pressure to always be that. Like mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, can I just take a break? I don't want to be in charge anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Whereas yeah. like with the person I'm dating now, I'm in charge like in life stuff. But sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm like, I'm tired. I, I, and I'm done. And they're like, let me go get, what do you want, Taco Bell? <laughs> I don't, I, I never feel, I, 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 I typically don't feel a lot of pressure in relationships to fit into a role. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I'm like, just, so a, like, well. just a fuck, no, just a, <laughs> no, just a fucking idiot. That I'm like, doop -a -doop -a -doop. what? What I do? Yeah. I, I didn't do something. <laughs> I don't know this. Like I don't yeah, feel yeah, a pressure. Yeah. I I have felt a pressure at times, like when I'm down or tired or something, where I'm like, let me put on my clown nose and shoes. I feel I need to entertain. You know? Oh like, I have felt yeah, that a little yeah. Bit. Ooh, gross. In a relationship? Yeah, just because like a lot of the time, like I'm because I mean we've talked about this. Yeah. This is a di this is a pattern that I've I've come to see mm -hmm. where it's like I I, I he get, dates unfunny. Not even unfunny. He dates people who are not funny. I mean, sure, but I also date people who... They're looking I, to you. Who I entertain, and I yeah. like to entertain. Of course. So then I'm entertaining, and then they're having fun, and then I'm having fun because yeah. I'm, I'm doing You're it. You're getting that attention. And then sometimes I'm like... And then I do that for weeks, and I'm like, I'm tired. Yeah. And then they're like, okay. And I'm, and I'm kind of like, maybe you could take over the... Entertainment? The, the, the fun making? And yeah. No. So this is it. You and know I'm what's like, funny? <sighs> You've actually kind of almost and summed I'm like, up... Burp, burp, but I'm sad. <laughs> I'm just fucking tired. And like, I felt that pressure. But beyond that, like, gender role shit. So, actually, what's shit, interesting you know. is I actually feel exactly that, except the fun making is like life logistics of, oh, we want to, we're going to go on a date. Rachel, where are we going? How are we getting there? What are we going to do? What are, where are we going on vacation? What are we ordering? in how are we spending our like i feel like i've been in so many relationships where the fun that has to happen of life because otherwise it would just be a dreary mess comes from me 
And then when I'm like, I'm fucking tired, man. Like, I don't, yeah. I'm don't. i down. I'm feeling depressed. I don't want to be in charge. The other person is that where they're like, oh, well, um, I'm just like, <sighs> okay, like, fine. I guess I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I'm just mad. But I think the difference though now as a growth and all that sure. is 15 years ago, I gritted my teeth and I did it. Right. Now I do not do that. Like when I don't want to do it, it's not me being like, fine, I'll do it. Now it's like, I've been in charge of the fun for a while. You should be in charge of the fun. Yeah. You can't. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you know what I've realized is I have a, is, is, is that is the thing. That's the yeah. thing that I should do is like, Hey, I'm like, I'm like tired. But, like, uh, but I did the same thing as you. This is the thing. This is the difference in our age where it, in experience, because where you are, I did that. Right. No, but this is the thing I'm realizing is that the, I have a real aversion to just leaving. And I don't mean leaving the relationship, but yeah, it's just yeah. like if there's like a night, it's like, okay, I'm not on. You're not on either. <laughs> I'm just going to go. Like, it's like, I, I feel I feel, I feel like it's wrong to leave for no reason besides like, it's not really popping tonight, is it? Mm. And I feel like, I feel like that's a betrayal or that's like, and I'm realizing that I'm like, no, I don't think that's true. I think it's probably better that you just leave and yeah just like do but there, i don't know where that comes from yeah i think i do my something about my father but a hundred percent about your father so in some way when he would leave he would come back with a belt <laughs> a no. belt with, with nails in it that's where i got the idea oh for my the, gosh for the baseball oh my bat. gosh you're just like your daddy oh my God. i bet he's so proud of you he is if he, he is. ever he would call you time. back <laughs> no he's a great pops <laughs> he, he i remember one time i got in trouble for your dad actually did, he, he because he was really involved in boys with the scouts right yeah that's so that's really i wish my family had been more involved he was, he was i mean he was super involved he, i mean he loves scouts for himself that's what that's awesome and we were and he he like put us in it and we enjoyed it yeah and it was like yeah it was a family thing that we did well, together that i think meant i mean it obviously shaped who we are but it right. also meant a lot to him as well well i think that's so cool because i think when as an adult now i'm like did my parents have hobbies like they don't yeah besides church and god which is their main hobby like what a f what a fun hobby it's so fun it's so fun fire and uh, brimstone no thankfully they're not they're they're methodist so it's all about how can we love each other more <laughs> <laughs> let's make these birthing kits for unicef um what? yeah a what's a birthing kit oh so they send it to countries that don't have like there's not a hospital like within distance oh. and so it's like gauze sharp scissors uh uh clean blankets like uh, uh things like that things to aid in a birth mm. um in areas that may not have the right. same tools how did they do that before well the thing is is they did do it and they could still do it but things like that's where like sanitation mm -hmm. and the disease the thing is is probably a woman could have the baby and it'd be fine it's just her susceptibility of getting illness how did anyone have babies before like modern i medicine? honestly that is a thing i think about it doesn't it, because like it how does it make, work how are how are babies made it doesn't it doesn't make sense yeah there's that <laughs> but it doesn't make it doesn't it just doesn't make sense that it's like yeah. we have to go to a, we need a we need a trained medical i have to tell you this is babies. a whole well here's the thing this is a whole topic we could get into and in that i don't believe in that but having a baby is like an, a medical emergency. A, having a baby is a thing that your body's doing, but you're not sick. You're not ill. Right. So it's kind of crazy that we go to hospitals versus like, I, cause I'm someone who does believe in like the birthing center kind of model. Right. Because, because doctors are used to treating illness. Yeah. They're not used to, you know, anyway, we anyway, can go into it. So yeah, it's boring. Fine. But, um, being a woman sucks, but and then my dad, my dad, was gonna spank me once when I was like seven, mm -hmm. and he was watching TV, and I was like, "Father, I'm ready for my spanking," because I was like, "I just want to yeah get it over I'm, with." I'm getting, and then he, he literally he has a belt, and he just goes like, Aww. "All right, you got you got spanked, go away." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Really?" He's yeah. Like, yeah, you're done. I'm like, "Fuck Aww. yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go color on the walls again." <laughs> <laughs> if this is it, <laughs> no, I don't know what the fuck I did, um. but um, but yeah, no, he's a good dad. And but getting back to the original thing, which was. Um, that I'm sure spanking, has some... being a, but I wanting to leave. 
oh, whenever, whenever yeah, things yeah, are yeah. like weird i feel, I feel like i find like a betrayal but yeah i think i think i think I, I think of anything that i've learned it's a lot of little things like that like my habits the things that i do what gets me to where i need to get to what rubs people the wrong way i think a big thing is i love hard like i was talking about but i also i that, that there's you're a pre- fierce there's a pre- there's, i'm fierce i'm a passionate you're, 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 a, you're a few i mean this is why i think we're friends and, and i think that's why people like me is yes. like i'm passionate about yes. the things i'm passionate about yes and then and then when i'm passionate about you they're like whoa <laughs> This ain't so sexy anymore. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> and I think I, some, some, at times I might need to cool up on that. Yeah. But, yeah. But, which is, but I'm also like, I'm, I'm, I'm but fine. See, this, but this is, I, oh man, and I. But, and not, I get there's specifics with this. Right, thing, right. But, but no, what I was going to say is I have, I, this is, and again, I'm just like in love and it's so great. And it's so but great. It is, um, and they're also great too. They are great. Um, great for you. Great individually. Mm-hmm. I like them. I like, they like them. They like me. Yeah, they do like you. I shot my shot once. Did you? Yeah. How'd that go? I knew they didn't like men, but yeah. I still... Yeah, you still tried. <laughs> I still... You're like, maybe I'm the one, baby. Maybe I'm the one. Yeah. It turns out I wasn't, but... The, but I was going to say, you're saying about that fierceness that like I'm very passionate about loving you and that feels like a lot to someone... You know, I've always heard this, like, oh, when you're the right person, you won't be too much and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, we're all saying that, but we all know. Right. This is the first relationship where I feel like I have allowed, one, I have been giving, getting feedback that it's fine, that I love my full love. Like, I do it the way right. I would actually do it. Whereas I think before I always kind of held back mm. or it felt like when I did do it, I would get a response like this is too much and I don't like this or I'm uncomfortable. And with the person I'm dating now, it's just like, they're like, yay, <laughs> that, you know <laughs> which is so nice. You know what's weird to me is just like, you know, if it's your birthday and someone has a huge birthday cake for you, just be happy you have a big cake. Yes. Why are you commenting? It's a little big it's a lo- it's a lot of cake though, right? Yeah. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a yeah. birthday cake. Yeah. How when it's too much? Lo- it's, it's I a, agree. It's a bit much. Yeah. It's like what? I mean, I get it if it's like you're a month in and you're like doing too yeah, much. Yeah, but this yeah. is not what we're talking about. We're no, talking about we're not. Whenever we're in a thing and you're just loving the way you love, and someone's yeah. like, "Can we pump it?" And it's like also fine. Yeah. If you need if you need a break, if you need a moment, yeah. that's fine. Too, but that's not what we're but talking, I'm not about. talking about. I'm talking about like the silly bullshit stuff. Like for example. Yes, I'm gonna tell you. This is it's embarrassing, but I'm but I'm also proud of it. I wrote. Is this, is this something old or something with current person? Current person. Okay, it's gonna be a boring story. That's love, love. It's very short. Love filled. Okay, let's hear it. I wrote them a poem. Okay. I've never written a poem in my life. Let's hear it. <laughs> and you know what's worse? I didn't just send it to them. I recorded me reading it. Oh, you, you, duh. To them. You can't, no. No, okay. You you yeah. agree with that? Yeah. Okay, well, because one of the things that they tell not, me. They're not going to get the inflections, right? Yeah. And also, I think uh, they love my voice, which is so sweet. Mm-hmm. They always tell me that. It's a good voice. And, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I love my voice. <laughs> um, and but like as i was doing it i'm like i am the lamest mother this is so embarrassing i'm just so embarrassed i can't believe i want to do this but i wanted to so badly because i had this feeling it was we were we were in this time in which we were dating which we're not saying i love you yet but it's like near yeah and if that feels too much but also saying like you're great feels crazy uh man you're you're great it's yeah like, oh it just like it feels well, insulting you it, you yeah stupid. yeah you yeah um and so i wrote this thing and said it, and their response was just so like oh my gosh that's so nice but it also their response wasn't like didn't embarrass me either of like right. being like oh my god this is the most amazing thing because we both are like you wrote a poem that's so nice and mm-hmm. sweet but we also know it's not gonna be great yeah yeah i like that yeah. i like that from your perspective yeah because i mean i whenever you do something like that there's a pressure on both sides yes yes there's like okay you wrote the poem which is fine yes and then there's a pressure okay how am i going to respond to this yes and i need it to be genuine yes. but i don't want to i don't want i don't want to lie don't fucking lie i'm happy that you wrote the poem I don't want to say I love it because it's probably not good. Yeah. And as long as you're just so, like, I yeah. just want you to be appreciative yeah. that I wrote the poem. I think also, I think an important bit too, and because they're, you know, they're very funny is, because uh, uh, <laughs> I, I sent it via text. Right. And then I saw them later in the day and they're like, I thought I, you said you've, oh, well, I, I recorded right, my gotcha. voice. Yeah, yeah. And then, gotcha, gotcha. and sent it. Um, 
and and part of it was because like we weren't we had a, like our next date was like in a day or two well i ended up seeing them later in the evening mm-hmm. and they're like oh i really like the poem and i was like oh thanks and but i'm also like yeah i feel kind of dumb because it's not good and they're, right. like, they're like no it's gonna be really good and you're like i think we should save it for when one of us dies <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's very good. Breaks it's very t- funny. Breaks that tension. It's, breaks that tension. it's breaks very that funny. Tension. It's very funny. Because you know what? You would read something really nice at, mm-hmm. at your funeral. But also, we're maybe, dead. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> not, maybe not that. Maybe not that. Let's save it for then. And then you die. And it's like, we're not playing that. <laughs> I don't think Rachel would want that. I don't think Rachel would want that. I don't think Rachel's current wife would want yeah. that. But you know <laughs> But you know what? It's just like, that's just being vulnerable yeah and really all that is is like would i love somebody to write a poem for me i think my ex did once and i was yeah. like i wasn't like Bleh. i was yeah. like what the fuck but i and i also wasn't like hip hip hooray you yeah know? i was just like okay a poem oh, that's, i think i would be de- i think i would be touched i think i really would i, th- I think I, I i think maybe that's just not my that may, yeah i it mean just, that is true it, it kind of just doesn't hit for me i yeah. appreciate that you're doing it doesn't hit for me yeah but also like I think if you're uncomfortable with that, it's just like, what the fuck is wrong inside of you that you can't appreciate a gesture? And you know? and also recognize and, like and, and making it about you and your weird feeling. Yeah. And 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 also like I gave you a poem. I'm not saying like marry me, we're together right. forever. That's not what I have a hair on my on my eyelash oh my God, and it's yeah. driving me crazy. It's just it's still in your head though. That's Thank what, you. That's what's okay. weird. <sighs> yeah. What else is on your little list? Let's see. Um Let's see. I'm really great. What I've learned is I'm the best. Um, <laughs> what's that one? Your dick got smaller. Yeah, that's what's it's weird. <laughs> you know, they say if you don't, if you're, if you're over 16 inches, it's what you pray for. <laughs> yeah, it's really. Um, yeah, we've talked about a lot of this, honestly. Okay. History. There's stuff about me that me and you have already talked about that feels like we'd be rehashing it. I really like the I really like the hard outside, soft inside thing that I talked about. Yeah, we can I talk f- about it if you want. Yeah, I feel like that was just a good like. I feel like I'm hard confident. Both of us hard confident yeah. on the outside, not hard like. Yeah, but just like we. Pe- no, people think I'm that way. People always think I'm strong gonna be- and confident and self assured. Yeah, actually, you know what? We're a great example of what's wrong with society and that we're both hard and soft on the inside. And if people are like, ah. Oh, Tyler's charming and so fun and confident. Rachel seems like a real bitch. <laughs> mm, you know, I can kind of see what other people mean. Oh my god! <laughs> About me being cool and yeah, 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 cool you and, and confident, stuff. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but also, also, I don't know why you you're like a, a funny, charming, cool, interesting mm-hmm. person on the outside. <laughs> <And> <laughs> you're all of those things, but in some for some reason that just attracts people that are like. I don't like it. It's like, what the fuck are you? Why are y'all here? That's honestly, my God. Why are y'all why, here? Why are you here? Get the fuck out. It's like, she's just so, ugh. And it's like, then stop talking to me about yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Because there's plenty of people in your life that are like, great, this is good. Yeah, this I, is like great. This. I like this. I like this. Keep I'm it into up. This. More. More. This is great. Keep it going. Yeah. I just think it's what, I think what's odd this is not in a relationship, but just like related to this. The number of times people that I do not know very well will say some real fucked up thing to me, like about how like, oh, Rachel, you're not as big a bitch as I thought you would be. And I'm like, what? You didn't have to say that to me. <laughs> I had someone who they're a very big sweetheart. Like now I know them better. But at the time we were at a party and they were like, and we were in an improv show. I um, need to talk about lulu from the show oh yeah yeah uh, okay you loved shucked <laughs> you loved, loved it. it loved to hate it yeah i love it loved to hate it. <laughs> um but yeah i uh uh fuck i forgot what i was talking about oh, oh i was sorry. at a party and uh i i had been doing a show with this person for like eight weeks and um this is the first show we'd ever done together improv wise and we're at this party again i do not know them very well like they're nice um but we've never like hung out and they were like rachel i loved performing you and i was like oh i love performing with you and they're like yeah i was dreading performing with you um i really thought you were gonna like steamroll and be really difficult and i'm just like why (laughs) one are you telling me and two why did you think that like but even that 
they th- they they think it's some sort of compliment. Yeah, but those are still the people that if they became friends with you, they'd be like, but there's just she's too much. Like, yeah, I mean, like, yes. why are you why forcing yourself to say mean things to me? Yeah, it's really, it's really their problem. Yeah, I mean, no, it is. It absolutely is. And I went to it's a lot so, of group therapy to determine yeah, that. Yeah, really, group therapy. Oh yeah, I told you about this, right? I don't know. When I had that big friend breakup a few years ago, this was in 2018. Am I thinking about the right person? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> they suck a lot. Oh really? Oh, that was, that was me. That was me getting it. From oh your eyes. okay. Getting, I, thought, I thought we had a breaking news. Getting the, uh, well, <laughs> it's a, it's a. Yeah, I can use it. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> it's Carol. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's no, no Carol. Carol. Um, no, we were, uh, yeah, we had that big friend breakup. And it was kind of like, it really shocked me. I was not expecting, even though we like fought a lot, like we got on each other's nerves and fought a lot. This was someone I considered a close friend. And then how that friendship ended just really shocked me. And I felt so confused because I'm just like, I don't know. I'm showing up and I am communicating my feelings i am i am asking about hers like i don't understand how she can walk away with this impression of me right like how does she not know me at this point point? and then um so i went to group therapy because and like specifically one where you're kind of working on that you're basically figuring out how do you show up with people right because in our group therapy you couldn't bring anything from the outside you're only doing interpersonal work in the room so like they sometimes you give us a so topic. You're only talking to people in the room. You're only talking things, and you're talking about what's happening in the room. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it's it's so. But one of like one of the wildest takeaways was this was like our second session, and and there's like seven women, and we're all pretty probably around close in age, but different backgrounds, of course. And our second time, we've probably been meeting for 15 minutes, and the door opens, and a gal who wasn't there the first week walks in it was carol (laughs) and she uh you know finds a seat so there's a pause the therapist says hello to her she finds her seat and then we resume but like before we resume i stood up and part of it was like she came was coming near me and i was kind of like trying to make room for her and i stood up and i introduced myself well then everybody else introduced themselves and so we did that and then we went on uh so then like here was a pause maybe you know a few minutes later where the therapist pauses and is like checking in like how do people feel hearing what was already shared and uh and this girl across the circle from me just goes i feel really angry right now and they're like why and she's like i feel like rachel is trying to control the room and trying to be in charge and i was just like what like and and so there was like well why do you feel that way and she's like well i guess i just feel really like so rachel immediately got up and introduced herself and i guess i was expecting you to do it but she did it before you could even try to do it and i guess i feel bad also like why didn't i do that i guess i should have done it you know like it just seems like rachel's trying to be in charge and then like another girl agreed and i was just like and the therapist was like yeah you're right (laughs) Everybody get their bats. <laughs> <laughs> and they beat it out and of me. I'm the therapist. I'm like, ha <laughs> We hate Rachel. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I do too. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, but then the therapist, what she did is like, she's like, well, Rachel, how do you feel hearing that? And I'm like, shitty. Um, but then what happens is, is like, I explain like that did not cross my mind at all. What I thought when that person arrived is I hate being late. I hate interrupting a group thing and then feeling behind. That's what I thought. And so I thought I'm it's the, I'm not scared of starting something. I'm not scared of feeling awkward. And so I just introduced myself because that's what I would want someone to do to me. That's what I wanted. And so then people hear that. And so over the course, I did this for a year and a half. That's the thing I found again and again is people would misinterpret my actions as some sort of like power play or some sort of like I'm showing off. But what would end up happening through the discussion is we would learn, I'm like, oh, they're just really insecure. They're yeah. they're having insecurity and they're mapping it onto me. Yeah. And and what's great yeah, about because you're you're doing what they can't do. Yes, or they went they want to do, right? Yeah. And so the thing that it taught me coming out of that is like, I can't control that. I can't control yeah. that at all. 
but I can have an awareness of it an awareness of like how I am and how I impact people to soften sometimes like the interaction of like checking in or whatever or sometimes I'm just like I don't care like right. I'm fine with you being that way yeah. and I'm not confused because yeah. I realize I'm actually not doing anything wrong you're you're responding to yeah. something yeah yeah makes me think a lot of things yeah. One of them just being like, man, everyone's, I mean, that's just the nature of being human. We're constantly just. Can I get some water real quick? You want this? There's nothing in there. There's um, nothing in there either. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt oh. you immediately. I'm so sorry. How dare you? I'm just, I'm having, suddenly having dry mouth and like, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's getting hot in here. So take Tata's clothes. I am getting so hot. I'm gonna take his clothes off. Makes me think a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> One of them being like, we're constantly, we're just part of being human. We're constantly projecting all the things all over each other. And I was realizing that in this relationship, because I mean, intimate relationships, you know, it, all the Jungian stuff that my ex really liked and we talked a lot about and we would read books about is like projection, is like the main yeah. thing that happens in a relationship. And like we're constantly projecting like our hopes and dreams onto a new person yeah. and then they can't because they're just a person. They yeah. can't meet it and you have to learn how to just love them for being who they are. Yeah. And then I was thinking about that and I was on the subway and I was like looking at people. <laughs> and, you know, I was looking at girls. I was like, oh, she's hot. Oh, she's she's. Uh, you know, <laughs> But I still do it, you know. I got to think all these things. Like, like that's not even a girl; that's just a ham. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd see a dude, I'd be like, "Oh, he looks cool." Like, "Oh, this guy, I don't fuck with this guy." Yeah. And I'm realizing it's like all every everyone's just being. <laughs> <laughs> this They're, is not them going on a catwalk in front of Tyler. Just to be clear, New York isn't here for. Him. And it's not. It's not like the hot girls like ooh, <laughs> and the ugly ones like. Burr, burr, burr. Like it's, actually, it's more like us walking here and just seeing someone pissing. <laughs> next yeah. to us on yeah, the we sidewalk. Did see that. But like, it's like, I'm seeing that and then I'm like, oh, like all these people just remind me of someone else. Yeah. Like there was a girl who had a nice big smile and I was just like, she seems safe. It's so funny because when you said smile, I thought you were going to be like, she had a big smile. No, no. <laughs> she had like just a, just a she, she seemed happy yeah. and a big smile and I was like, she seems safe. She's attractive to me. Yeah. And then someone who's like maybe more stoic looking and I'm like, oh, she seems like she wouldn't think I'm funny. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not, I have nothing to do with them. Yeah. I'm just making, or this guy, I'm like, oh, this guy seems like the kind of guy who bullied me like when I was a kid. I'm not going to fuck with him. Yeah. And then this guy, oh, this guy seems kind of a funny dory. Oh, this guy seems like he's got some. Yeah. It's, it's all this just. This guy has a really cool tattoo. I think it is a swastika, but. I'm like, this cool seems, guy seems cool and interesting. Oh, that's a mirror. Uh, <laughs> and like, that, <laughs> and like, that's all that was happening is just. Your projection. That's all that's happening all the time. And yeah. and so everything in around you brings up something that you were taught to just help you survive. Yeah. That's 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 everything. And it's you just solved like it. and something you, about you you, you I, solved it. And so I I made it that up. <laughs> and there's something about you that fucking Yeah, and so the thing I've learned and it's just it's, it's just you're not a fucking yeah. Uh, ooh, 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 you're not you're a you're a confident person. Yeah. And a lot of women don't feel confident. And then they're mad at you for that. Because they're, they're mad at because they're mad at themselves. themselves. It's really crazy, and I mean that's distilling it down in the most simple form. But like that's the thing I did learn in that group therapy was just like I can't control yeah. what people are gonna do, and all I can do is like control how I react and be mindful that yeah. I might stir up stuff with people. Yeah. I see it a lot. I also see it in my job, um, like, but because of the nature, I think of jobs. I am rewarded more for these for this, but like I will come across certain people within the company or organization where like, yeah, I'm I'm I nothing has happened between us, but just the way I am is doing something with them right. where they're like, but they they can't be as direct about it as you would be outside of like right. professional setting, right. and so I have on those situations I'm often like, okay, we're gonna have to spend some time. To yeah. make sure this person knows I'm not trying to sabotage you know, them or whatever. You know, I saw it on Mad Men. There was an episode <laughs> where um, there was a lady who was leading a workshop for other ladies. Yeah. And, and you know, it's the 60s in Mad right. Men and stuff. And then they, she asked them, she was like, hey, can you, my, her name was like Dawn with an E, let's say. Mm -hmm. And they were like, take the E off or something. Mm -hmm. 
and then they didn't do that and they're like i told you to take the e off mm. it puts it makes them feel like i'm y'all don't think i'm important mm. and so she was like just forget the name tag and then she goes in and she's like hi everybody my name is uh, they forgot my name tag they just don't like us women do they and all the girls are like <laughs> and it's like that like made them mm-hmm. ingrate even though she was in power it like made them be like she's she's one, she's of, one us. of us ma'am so it's like how do you do that or how could you do that in, in that situation? Oh, I think, I mean, I think I'm much more adept at doing that. Like, I think I'm, uh, I'm talking about this as though it's like something that plagues me. It doesn't. Right. Like, it's I, just, it's just an, a, an, it's just an annoyance. Yeah. It's just, it can know. be an annoyance. And it's one of these things I just have to be mindful of. Yeah. But no, for the most part, most people I meet like me, we get on. Cause I love people. I mean, I'm, stop that. I'm, making, I'm, big, I'm, I'm making a skeptical face. Yes. Um, it's weird because it's like his come. What? Oh, oh. Skeptical. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so upsetting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't worry about this that often. It's like, yeah, it's just something I'm aware of. But for the most part, I feel, and maybe this is just the confidence, like, I'm fine. Yeah. I do. I love, and I really, well, lo- but I really like people. And what's the other option? Feel, feel bad about it? But some people. Like, I'm so confident. And, I know, and, be, and I'm insecure about dude, it. Dude, I feel like I was there. I feel like I, wa- yeah. I was insufferable a few years ago where I'm just like, I'm so confident. Everybody hates me for it. And it's like, ugh. My boobs are so big. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wants to fuck me. It's so hard being me. It's hard being me. The other thing is like, what does that say about women and hierarchy? What do you mean? I feel like if there was a groom full of men and one of the men was like trying to like show that he was big and dominant. Mm-hmm. It would either bring out some like, all right, I guess he's big and dominant, or it'd bring out like, well, I'm trying, I want to be big and dominant, and it would it would be a little bit of competition there. Yeah. But for when, but if it was like almost like what happens is she's trying to take over the room and she shouldn't. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's something about like yes. you're not following the hierarchy, and g- yes. guys are kind of like, Man, I'm always trying to rise. So I in think the I think you know actually, I mean? uh, yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. So I think I, you know, I think with women, there is, and I think this has changed. Um, hopefully, and I, I, I see, I don't see this as much, but especially when we're younger, like coming right out of like your young adult, I think there is, I feel like we have to have permission to do things. We need permission to do things. Mm-hmm. We were taught that we are helpers in society. You know, you stay in line to not get in trouble, be, you know, good, good helpers, good girls. In order to do that, you follow the rules. And, and then as you get older, like, you know, kind of deconstruct some of that but uh so what i see and what i saw growing up was people waiting for permission constantly to be like well you shouldn't be taking over because no one told you that you're in charge whereas men don't do that they're like i want to be in charge i'm in charge so and, a man will do that yeah um, yes it's, whereas it's, i'll tell you it's never me yeah. i'll tell you that <laughs> first and foremost i'm with the other bitches yeah. that are like Mm-mm. what's funny is like sometimes i don't want it to be me and i'm just right. like oh, again okay fine that's that's so you that, but that's so like that's still you <laughs> <laughs> no one is it does it really gonna be me it's like no one's even <laughs> no Guys, one's putting okay it. fine you know what i did make a binder for this but <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like no one's making you do this but uh, um, but no, I do think it's a gender thing. I think there's some of that, the hierarchy, the, and these things that are being deconstructed. And but also, yeah. I think it depends on like where you grow up, how you grow up. You yeah. know, um, I think that's also what was bizarre about that friendship, though, because like we did bump heads, like that friendship mm-hmm. that dissolved and was like part of our friendship was like a competition and was like competitive. But in, I think, normal ways, I didn't feel like, it, it didn't really feel like it was because we were specifically women. It was, I think it was just like the nature of how we related sure. to each other. But what was so disappointing to me is in that friendship, I feel like I took a lot of time to like work through our shit where like we would bump heads and I'm like, okay, well, let's talk it out. Like, right. I'm mad, you're mad, let's talk it out. We'd right. talk it out and I would walk away the situation being like, yay, we're closer, we did this hard conversation and i'm proud of us and then what i learned kind of at the end of the friendship was like no they used every time we had the argument for me we have the argument and we're done we're back at square zero for them they're like this is the seventh argument this is the eighth argument this is the ninth Uh, ninth reason rachel you're bad for me that's so fascinating and it was just like why all this this resentment you have held on like 
it has built up because you didn't tell me about it. Like right. I thought we were, res- we were resolving everything each time. I had no idea you, and, and also because they held on to that, it's like they saw the worst in my actions, which was just mind blowing. Like they would say things right. where I'm like, how do you, I thought you knew me. The fact that you could even think I would act like that or think like that. Dude, I mean, I know I'm coming out of this breakup, but you're yeah. really speaking. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's also <laughs> I why mean, I'm this saying is really, it. I, I am you, yeah. except I'm dating the bitches yeah. that think you suck. <laughs> They're like, I love his confidence. Yeah. And then they're like, why is he so fucking confident at me? Yeah. And I'm like, what? I thought you I thought you liked that. Remember when I shook your hand when you came in the room? It's like, well, I'm in the room now. And <laughs> man, it's like, I'm, I really relate to a lot of that. Yeah. And from a completely different perspective. We yeah. have a, we, there's a weird overlap. I think, well, I think it's being friends <laughs> that no. we share our life experiences. No, I, there's a weird overlap between both of our experiences. Um, the other the third thing that, that all that story stuff made yeah. me think of is had to do with Lulu from the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, One yeah. One of the characters Lulu forgot. in the show played by beep somebody. I don't know who. Um, we should look. It's I, a famous person. Yeah, it's a famous, she's big, black, trans woman. Yeah. I'm sure she has other qualities, but those are the oh, ones. Oh, she has the most amazing voice. Oh, I mean, an incredible May, singer. Yeah, and was one, and also... I I mean I felt this way I felt like every time she was on stage I'm like I don't care about anything else. But yeah, her. she really it, I she like outshined. I, like I told you, it was like why why is this show about? Yeah, why is the show about the main character? It should be about Lulu. Yeah, Lulu. Yeah, clearly you nailed it. The most interesting person in the cast, and they're like, yeah. well, what about what about a white girl trying to decide between two boys that she just can't? I'm like, fuck you. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but she, that's who she is, right? In the mm-hmm. show, um, and she has this. She's a she's a single woman in the in the play. And she runs a whiskey. Um, she she has a whiskey business in town, and she's very successful. And she has this song about like I don't need a man, I'm independent. I run whiskey, and I'm an independent woman. But it's you know it's almost as good as I sing it. It's, <laughs> but it's an incredible song. She she gets she goes high, and the crowd. I mean, she had she almost had a standing she ovation. Almost had a standing ovation, almost. but the applause went on for a, for a long, long time because it was very. It very was good. just so good. It was so good. And, Obvi- where this is a Broadway play, so yeah, obviously, yeah. mostly white people in there, and I think probably a lot of the women really resonated with the "I'm an independent woman" song. Yeah, yeah sure. and then I I made this comment to you, which is like, man, white women love a black independent woman. <laughs> yes, white women love a black independent woman. They do because they're like, yeah, I'm glad that that's there. I still want to be the main lead girl who's finding <laughs> love and gets into a good relationship. But I'm glad that this is there to inspire me. I'm so glad that you can do it all. I only want to do some. <laughs> Not even that. It's, it's like, I'm glad that you're there for an inspiration. Yeah. I still want love. <laughs> I just want a little piece of you. Yep. Yep. You know, I, and I feel like this is somehow related to that. I feel like if you were a black woman, yeah. you'd be dealing with uh, racism, which would suck. Yeah. But I feel like they'd be like, she just doesn't, she just takes charge. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, They'd be like, yes. Rachel just takes charge. Yes. Well, it's funny because. Uh, Ra- Raquel really just <laughs> takes charge. <laughs> just takes her yeah. i wish i could be like her but then you're white and Ray it's like Kel. and it's like she is me and she's better and i don't like it I, what is, that's that's a thought i on. and i well i don't think about this anymore but there was a period of time in my life where you wish you're black no i never wanted that <laughs> <laughs> no 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 no, 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 no. that no. seems like not for me. Um, no, uh, we're most Keep talking. I'm gonna check on the camera. Okay, most of my guy friends, or most of my friends are guys, and I've tended to do that. Like, a, like my the people I hung out with a lot in high school were guys, and uh, yeah, I don't know. And so, uh, but I also had girlfriends. Like, I wasn't someone who's like I only hang out with boys. Right. I was I was never that way. I just tended to bond more closely with men than women. Um, but from a stance of like, almost like I just gathered all the pansies with me and I'm like, I'll protect you. Um, Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I say that and that sometimes when I was younger, that was a thing I would navigate with like women I didn't know is like this feeling of like a distrust because I only have guy friends, right? which there's that narrative of like, well, you know, she only has guy friends. That's not good. She must hate women. And so I worried about that when I was younger because I didn't 
have a lot of close girlfriends. Um, I had one best friend in high school. And even then, it was kind of like from circumstance. Like, mm-hmm. like, she was a lovely person. But, like, I don't know if we had met out in the world, if we would be friends. Yeah. Um, because we didn't have that much in common. Um, but, uh, anywho, I bring that up just because makes me think of that yeah i think if you were black your life would be a lot easier (laughs) 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 or not yeah um you got anything else you want to say i feel like we haven't i mean is there something we haven't touched on that yeah i was just thinking about that um talked about new york a little bit yeah i mean do you have any creative projects or things that you're working on right now um, that's like top of mind. Nothing interesting. There's yeah. That, like script idea that I told you about. Yeah. Which <laughs> I think I'm more excited about than you are. I'm excited about it. I just don't want to do the work. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's this, this long drawn out d- d- decay of the relationship has really been. Yeah. Um, Taking your life force. But you, you know what's secretly I'm happy for it? Cause I've been afraid of New York. Yeah. So I'm like, this is, um, this Hey, is you be- remember, remember earlier when you told me and we're like, oh yeah, the bit of being like jaded, this is the same thing where it's like, yes, you've been using this as a distraction to yeah. not do New York. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but it's been, it's also been something I did want to do. Of course. That, yeah. The, this, both, this both, was things, the, both things can be true. It was either, for me, it was like a hierarchy of needs where it was like the relate, there's like, you got to eat, you need a place to live, mm-hmm. you need a good solid relationship and then you need to follow your dreams. And it was yeah. like, well, this part's fucked up. So I, I can't really focus yeah. on this until I focus on that. Yeah. Um, but it also was a nice, uh, you know. Distraction. It's a nice, a nice distraction. And now I feel like more comfortable and ready to actually yeah. dive more fully into New York, which is what I've been saying for the last <laughs> few months. But it's also, it's more it's it's more and more true, true as the days go by. Yeah. I mean, I'm back on the podcast. Look at me. I know. I'm proud of Look you. At Look at me. I'm really proud of you. This podcast turned out to be great. And your mm-hmm. episode was really great, so I'm glad you're on again. Mm, thank you. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really glad you came because you know, you know how you know. It, it's not even, it's not even like I needed somebody here, but it's just nice that like you volunteered your time because you're like I'm gonna come out there to visit, and you just decided to come because you saw that he could use a break. I just need, I just need to have some fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. have some fun, and it has been fun. It's on, and it's been you know hashing things out again and again and again which is so fucking annoying i'm really excited to have anything else to talk about um because it's just been man it's been a hell of a six months man it has been i went from man i went mm, I top went, of the world i mean i was top doing, of the I, world I, was, I, I had my every, my whole life was figured out yeah oh yeah it was in figured October. it was figured out and i am just what the mm. fuck is new york i mm-hmm. lost the relate i'm mm-hmm. like i don't know what the it f- feels like it's in shambles but you know what's exciting is this is a new get, beginning. Getting shocked. Getting shocked. It is a new beginning, and it's that, like it, the you know, it's Firebird. And, and all that, that. isn't that is interesting. It's just I, the, what is what is hard about it is it's like I <laughs> like I really wanted that other I know storyline. Yeah, I wanted you wanted this, that other narrative. I wanted that other narrative. That, I really, that future really did. you had I, in your head. Yeah, I really. But you know did. what's exciting? The thing I do know is the future that's ahead of you is better than the one you had in your head. It is. It absolutely is. Yeah. And the further you get out from this time, yeah. you're going to see that mm-hmm. because she wasn't on the one. Yeah. Which sucks. It Which really sucks. It sucks. It and, sucks. And she's great. You're great. Mm-hmm. But you just wasn't the she, one. And the thing is, is she's not, who knows what the future will be, but like the future you have in front of you is better than the one that's in your head. Yeah. It is. I know that for a fact. Well, it's it's better because it's the real one. That's a big reason why yeah. it's better. It's like the one you imagine in your head. Whew, I'm so glad you get it. I was really scared you weren't getting it. The right thing. Well, there's like there's like a thing. There's like a thing. I you know there was a there was a Jonah Hill documentary where he talks to his therapist. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. I want you you saw it. Yeah, I like. I th- love Jonah. Hill. I like the thing. Yeah, he's a real. He I'll, seemed like a real sweetie. Did you see his rom com that he did for Netflix? Yeah, it was the black one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You didn't like it. There was a lot of problems with it. Not like, not like problematic. Just no. like, eh, well, I, eh, I kind of feel that way to a certain degree. I just thought the, I thought the dialogue was really good. I really enjoy. I actually downloaded the script because I wanted to read it. I felt like I was like, it's one of these things. Like you have the premise, go all the way with it. Why are you going halfway? You didn't feel like they went all the way. No. What There's a Jewish want? family and a Muslim black family talking about Louis Farrakhan, and it's like, 
get into it mm. like instead it was like but all right you, it's dinner's ready and they cut but, it off and it's but, like okay but you gotta think i mean i think for you if you could have the tyler version of this movie of course they would get into it but they're having to make a movie for the masses but but it's like if you have the premise do the premise and make it really good okay make a good movie <laughs> hey if i have any advice for anyone out there make but, it um, good but no, what were, what were we talking about? We were talking about Jonah Hill's. Uh, Jonah Hill. Yeah. He talks about how like the image you have in your, like you have, like imagine your ideal life. Right. And like you imagine it. And like, he's like, the problem with it is that like, it's a still image. It's static. It doesn't change. Right. You're like, every, it wouldn't be great if I could just do this and have this and have this. And, th and then what? And then what? And then what? Yeah. It's going to change. It yeah. can't stay the same. Yeah. And also th th what a hell life would be if you, if it, if it, never, if it never changed. Yes, exactly. So you'd also want it to change. Constant. And the, the pain of life is from the change that happens. Yes. Yes. And like you, your ego wanting to hold on to these things. It's that, so weird that, that in humanity can't. that you do that. The yeah. fact that change is a constant that we as a human, as humans just, Ugh, hate it resist it oh my god resist it so fucking hard i remember in 2022 like a like a big thing of mine the thing that brought me like most happiness was like the idea of like don't force it yeah like if i'm confused what do i do Just, hey don't force it yeah i don't know what you should do but don't force it yeah and then i get into this relationship and i'm like i'm gonna force it a little bit <laughs> <laughs> i cannot let i'm go. like I, i'm like i'm like we need to make a decision about this now <laughs> and she's like i think maybe we don't maybe it's 3 a.m <laughs> i'm like no now and then i'm like why is this so hard <laughs> And yeah. I even I even had the thought where I'm like, you're, I think you're kind of forcing this, Tyler. And it's like, yeah. ah, you already started. Let's see where. <laughs> let's see where this I'm takes loyal. You, <laughs> yeah, we can just flip this around. I'm really loyal. <laughs> yeah, and it was just like fucking. Yeah, yeah, I think that's 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 don't. It force is. Me. I I really loved the, I really loved that movie, and I completely agree. It is. It's crazy. And this is where people who stop growing, like people who they're like, I know what the world is. Or actually, what I should say is, I don't trust anyone who tells me they've got the life and the world figured out. Yeah. I'm just I'm like, ah, oh, you're a charlatan. You're like yeah. selling snake oil. Yeah. You don't know. No one does. No yeah. one does. That's the secret. You're, you're trying to figure yeah. it out for yourself. But um, but I think one of the things, and I think something that fueled me to really question my marriage and question my life yeah. choices then, is I got to the, well, what now? And then right. what? And then what? And, and then also looking around and being like, I feel, I am so scared that I'm going to stop growing. Right. And I feel like my partner kind of wants me to stop growing yeah. and to like, just be in this and happy with this. And I'm like, this isn't what I want to be. I, I have to, I want to be evolving right. constantly. Right. And not everybody can do that. Not everybody is down for that. Yeah. But we are. We figured. Well, I mean, I, I, th I think <laughs> I think we we you know th I think this is a big thing with me is I think I when I was in Austin at, the, at, the, at my top yeah I would won the f funniest person in Austin contest and I got a Comedy Central thing and I was moving to New York and everything yeah. was only looking up and I, I moved here and you know you everything's gone no support system you don't yeah. really know anybody you don't really know how the scene works here I've I've, I've described it like. I felt like in Austin we were playing tennis and then I come here and we're playing badminton and it's kind of the same. Yeah. But it's also pretty different. Like, yeah. Obviously, the telling jokes is telling jokes. but the Yeah, rest but of the shit, navigating the, the yeah, world of it, it's yeah. Di it's different. Yeah. It's different, but the same, but also different. It looks the same, but like you get into it and it's like, whoa, this is... And I think I was really mad and resentful and upset and I think uh, towards the beginning, I think I was probably putting a lot of that on the relationship, which wasn't very fair of me, mm -hmm. which I've you know acknowledged and blah, blah, but because uh, I'm great. <laughs> I've, acknowledged, I've acknowledged it because I'm such a an, perfect boyfriend and in, 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 uh, enlightened being <laughs> and big dick, too. I forgot that. I don't know if we mentioned <laughs> that big dick, too. Um, but I was really mad at like the universe because I remember when I when I. Finished college and moved to Austin. I was mm -hmm. 22, 23, and I was like, oh, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm starting a big boy job. I'm working in an office. That's crazy. Yeah. And I'm, you know, uh, I got, I'm, I'm doing, I want to do comedy maybe. Yeah. Let me try this new thing. And it was all very new. And I was, I was, I wasn't, I mean, uh, there was, 
I was not good at any of these things and it was all new and it was scary but mm-hmm. I was excited I yeah. was like there was a like oh a, that feeling there was, and, but I was also it was hard because like yeah. that first year sucked because I hated my job and yeah. nothing and, and you know first year sucks in a new place it just does yeah. and but there was this thing of like alright we're, 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 we're moving and, and this is new and I'm embracing this change because there's no going back to school Yeah, you know and then and then I get to this point where it's like I start doing comedy and then you make your life and you meet your friends and I get actually get good at I might oh it turns out I'm actually pretty good. You know, and then I'm doing this and I go to Amsterdam, oh my god, and then I'm I'm take I'm doing all these things and oh my gosh. So and then FPA, oh my god. And then I'm back and then I move to New York and it's all goes right back to the bottom. And I feel like I'm twenty two or twenty three again. Yeah. And I'm like, I was fucking done with this shit. Yeah. Why the fuck? Do I feel this shit again, girlfriend? And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, I, no, I why, I. why aren't you making me feel better? Because oh, because oh, because you're thousands of miles away. That's your excuse. It's like yeah. it's a pretty good excuse. And so like, it was I just, just it was just I was so mad at the universe that it was making me yeah start over and have this growth process. And yeah. instead of being young and like I'm excited, I'm like I I remember how hard it was. I just yeah, it hurts. It hurts. I remember how hard it it's was. It's hard and it, and sucks it hurts to start over yeah. cuz I know how hard it's going to be. And I, I I and the thing is, it's not like college. I could go back to Austin. Yeah. Well, the other thing is too is like, oh gosh. See, I want I, that was resonating really hard for me because my favorite thing yeah you're <laughs> Jesus Christ the thing I, I you know my favorite thing to talk about the year 2017 is I started the year with a house a husband a dog and a job by July I had none of those things and you had a bindle with a vibrator <laughs> in it that's all you had I was a hobo <laughs> Love a good hoe. I'm gonna steal some of your water. But I was like, I put the hoe in hobo. Um, there you go. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it was so hard, and I was so. And so, whereas you're like, kind of, you, this frustration, anger may have been towards your relationship. Mine was towards myself, and just like, oh god. But for me at the time, I forgot. I didn't know how hard it would be. I had no idea because, like, I don't think I'd ever, like started over in that way because it was a complete start over and did, did, was there was there overlap with college ending and work starting with your ex-husband because mm-hmm. okay, yeah, we that, were together yeah that makes we, it, we makes were it together easier. yeah we were together in college to really just be like alone alone like, well, yep we're in it and you're here and you're like who should i call oh i have no one i have, to no, call one. I have no one and hang out with i mean i can call yeah. you, i can call you but you know what i mean like oh there's no 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 nothing here nothing feels comforting familiar mm-hmm. But I think the thing that is insane, and you know, and you know this is on the horizon, but it's like I know you. It's hard. It's just fucking hard. You're in it. Is I'm so glad. I'm so grateful that I went through that, and I feel like a totally different person on the other side. But and I feel like I feel more of like there's going to be more of that. It's but it's yeah, worth it. That's the that's the that's the part. But I think because of that though, like <laughs> this sounds so cheesy, but I don't think I've ever really done this because because I did never have that starting over from scratch feeling right. until this, you know, until these last few years is like dating dating Brandy. I have this moment where I'm like, "Oh, well, this might end." Like, you know, where they are in their life, our priorities, who knows? Right. Who knows where this will go? And so instead of that making me sad, and I mean, there's like a twinge of it, I'm just kind of like, ooh, I just want to revel in it then. Yeah. Like, this might go away. This has every, in fact, this is more tenuous than anything else, right? I was married, like had taken vows and that ended. Yeah. So like. I think that's the thing yeah. that I'm going to miss in future relationships is the knowledge that when you're in love, you could fall out of it. Yeah. And that's what sucks. I was like, I was in it. I was like, oh, this is, oh, this, this is, is forever. It. This is it. This, this is, forever. is forever. Oh, hey, you don't even got to worry about it. Yeah. Hey, what? Who? Can, what are you talking about? Yeah. But this is this is it. I thought I thought I had done heartbreak, and I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I was I was just you were just wrong. Yeah. And even though you put, even though there was all this time and good mm-hmm. shit happened, and it was some, good, ju- and just it just it seemed like something so. S- it, I mean, I mean, listen. Long distance is a bitch. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a small change, but it felt like, but in the context of the rock solid nature <laughs> of our deep love yeah. and commitment for each other, yeah. uh, I mean, it couldn't shake it. Yeah, 
And then it was like ding, <laughs> rock slide, <laughs> tornado. <laughs> Like, and, the there's, and there's just a baby slapping you in the face when you're in this car. A baby. Yeah, the most disrespectful of human beings. Yeah, and it's just and it's just like fuck. And then the next time, yeah, that's the kind of that's the kind of innocence. Yeah, and that kind of love or that that naive like that naive like everything's gonna be Work fine. Out. That hope. That hope. It just feel it sucks that that's just gone now i think even though it's not i mean yeah because you're not there yet but you know what i mean like i know but but even now you're like hey i'm in love it's great it feels so good might not last forever i bet but 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 i would say though but i guess that's just a thought that's a new thought thought. it's a new thought the feelings are still good the feelings are all still good and in fact what i think it makes me do is slow down makes me slow down and cherish it like really cherish it in a way that I don't know if I did in my first relationship, mm. my first, you know, being married. I really don't know if I did that. And um, and in this thing, I'm like, yeah, this could go away. And so, I don't know. It just makes me want to be softer and kinder and more, and also take more risks too. That's the other thing I think is like the flip side of, uh, getting divorced is there's a little bit like i have lost everything i have lost right. everything before and nearly killed me but it didn't and now i'm dating and i this feels like a thing i never want to lose let's date a black guy <laughs> let's do, take a risk divorce didn't kill me maybe this black guy will <laughs> wouldn't that be nice <laughs> but like yeah i don't know uh uh <laughs> i don't know how to come back from that that's uh, such a crazy thing to say. yeah it is a really crazy thing yeah, to say that you'd say on, yeah in public yeah <laughs> well because if i was gonna say i'm like well, let's fuck five <laughs> <laughs> let's knock off some things off the yeah. bucket list <laughs> let's fuck five and see if they can find my body <laughs> it'll be unrecognizable <laughs> mm. um I, uh, uh, yeah, I have no fucking idea what we were just talking about. <laughs> you said some very racist things. <laughs> and. Oh, I know. I was cherishing my beautiful relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I hear that. And that, and that is, a, that is a beautiful thing. Like, yeah. The, like and the, I think the idea, the, 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 the idea, like, like, I guess what I'm not considering is like, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a beauty to a naive jumping all in mm-hmm. love thing of course and it's like sweet yeah and yes then, it's sweet that's actually a great way to put it it's really sweet yeah and your first cut is the deepest but the first love is the sweetest but the first cut is the deepest so yeah. i already said this yeah you got it you, you summed it up but it's like uh okay so i'm just saying i'm actually this is it i'm thinking about like it's like the comparison of the first time you ever got a laugh on stage do you remember that feeling um i'm thinking of a time yeah yeah versus getting laughs now and like so bored of it jesus christ well (laughs) it's just like your satisfaction of the thing you're doing changes right like your expectation and and that's the thing too is like i think you go ahead i think one of the things and you know i just feel like i'm just uh talking platitudes at this point but like i love it i need it (laughs) is uh uh you know I think when I was younger, when I thought about ro- about love and commitment, I just kind of think I thought in like big long term things of like we're gonna buy a house together, right. we're gonna travel, we're gonna build, you know, get old together, and and I was always kind of looking at things through that lens versus looking at what life really is, which is tomorrow is not promised. We, you know, you only know what you have right now because everything can change everything's always changing mm-hmm. and really the thing is you should be asking is like how do you feel about when you're you're eating a meal together how do you feel like it's the little stuff yeah it's just all that stuff yeah that's what i i remember whenever we were in the in the depths of the love it was like i remember it was we would like smoking a cigarette outside mm-hmm. and i'd be like this is the shit and it's, there's no yeah the whole like movie thing of like i'm in love you're gonna, yeah i gotta open the window and scream it like that's not what it is it's no. just like 
and feeling it. It's, it's, it's like spl- it's like going to get ice cream and eating yes. it in the car yes. while listening to something. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what it. That's what the shit really is. That's really what it is. Yeah. And and well, yeah. I mean, you brought it up at the very beginning. It's like the stories of me dating before were always like really funny, and now I'm just like, oh my god, it was. It was just so insane. We uh we uh. <laughs> Oh god we got up yeah and uh we walked to to flat track okay and oh my god and oh. we both we, here it comes yeah we both got coffees and sat and just yeah. talked for like okay. two hours yep then what happened but then what, what's what's the rest of the story oh <laughs> that's it oh why did you waste my time <laughs> <laughs> but that for you was like man yeah. Yeah, of course it was. It felt yeah. great. Yeah. I think that and that's, that's a big thing that, it, that I've learned is, you know, because there was a time, I think, where security was a big thing. Yeah. We were going through me wanting to feel secure in the relationship. Mm-hmm. And um, and there was just, a, there was like, you, you, the kind of security I was looking for, I was like, no, you can't have that kind of security. There's no, you can't have a guarantee. Yeah. You can feel good in the, like you're saying, you can feel good day to day, but there's no guarantee no. of anything at any point you can only be like you in this right now you trying to be in this tomorrow that's yeah. that's really all that you can do and it's a, it's just a it's a it's it's shattered a lot of those like childhood rom-com i know the cultural, saving the grow old it's it's shattered a lot of those things and made it a lot smaller mm-hmm. and um that's so hard less less maybe less romantical well yeah but more it, it's weird real and, and i think that's the thing it's like that's what it's i was saying sad. Like, like the, the, and there's grief the, there the sweetness of the naivete of love yeah. is a loss but the maturity this is what i'm not realizing until yeah. i'm talking to you the maturity that comes with love and loss and life and mm-hmm. wisdom is that you can actually enjoy the thing the good feelings that are there yeah. and the person that's there for what it is yeah. not what it's not yeah i think uh you know it's like what do you get when you Stop leaving in Santa when you realize Santa's not real. You get to start fucking. And <laughs> what happened to you when you were a child? What are you what are you, what are you doing? Santa? What, why are you doing this? Santa's not real. <laughs> what? Ah! You're about to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> What a perfect way to get out of a very dark bit. <laughs> Little girl, you're about to get shot. I don't, 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 don't. Lulu. <laughs> Is that's why she doesn't need no man. Oh, no. Oh, too much? You went too much. See, you got to let it rest. You got to let it ride. That's fine. I'll cut should that we, one I was going to say, should we wrap up? Yeah, we probably should. I think you need. To, I think the time's done. You need to leave. Yeah, you. Hey, uh, you need to record the ending. Okay, well, um, you got anything to plug? No. Any, I'm in love. Any advice for me? I know that's how this whole thing is. Oh any yeah, specific actually, advice? advice. Yeah. Um, you know, I think what I would really love for you to do is just focus on New York. Yeah. Take a break. Don't don't date. No. Don't date. No. I wouldn't even like fool around. I would yeah. try and just like be on your own for a month. Yeah. On, at least a month of just like doing your own thing and then kind of check in how you feel. Only because like I think you do catch feelings pretty quickly and you're a romantic. And so, uh, no. yeah. Mm. And uh, I think after talking about the mm-hmm. relationship with you right now, like. Yeah. Did this one finally fix it? I think I'm going <laughs> to call her. Oh, no. No. <laughs> A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a bitch. <laughs> On camera. Off camera. Total. Never. Bitch. Not even that. Not even that. Um, no, I would just. But genuinely. Uh, yeah, just take some time. Well, really, really kind of start building out. Bitch, call really it. Call it. <laughs> it's really fun. Fall, a f- a focus on New York and. Uh, yeah, it's your great loves out there, and the future that was in your head. You got a better one. It, it's much better than the one that's in your head. I feel you. Because that bitch not there. Stop it. <laughs> She's great. She 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 is she is great. And uh it, it was it was a great time that we had. Yeah.
until it wasn't, but you know, yeah. that's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. The, the time we had was really great. Yeah. So you, it was like, man, that was that. 2022 was a fucking fantastic yeah. 10 months. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, we it can't was, go into it all. Uh. <laughs> no, we can't. It was, it was a great, it was a great time. And you're a great friend for helping me through this tough time and even yeah. coming to visit me. Of and, course. And uh, I think, I think I, I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Um, let's get you on the plane. Okay. Um, Is it outside? No, it's not. Did you have anything to plug? Anything to say? No, I don't have any plug. Yeah. I, I'm not in any shows. I'm not doing anything. Right now. I'm taking a screenwriting class. Cool. Starting this week, but well, um, other than so that, see you there on Tuesdays yeah, and see Thursdays. Yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> I guess. All right, thanks, Rachel. Thanks, baby, Tai Tai. Bye, bye. Mm-hmm.